And we are live. Okay. Ultra, Ultra Podcast the episode 84 with our full on month break. Um I have a little thing above my head which means let us know if there are any audio issues because uh my dumbass decided to turn off the all the settings while I went on Chris's break, so uh oops. <laughs> But as always, I am Manuel, leader of AJ Connections. Uh, Konaru is currently in Japan watching Love Live or AKB or wh- wh- whoever she's watching tonight. Um, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, uh, but replacing her tonight is Jasmine. Go ahead and say hi. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jasmine, also known as Jazz is the chocolate cosplayer. And I'm. Fucking hoe! <laughs> 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 oh, we were in a horrible organization! <laughs> That was that was such a good intro. No, I, um, if, if anyone was watching us for the first time, I want you to know we are never that on point or that straight. You know that fast. That was the perfect I, intro. <laughs> oh my god. Well, um, the, 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 that's uh, that, that's yeah, go, go, go ahead, Jasmine. That's all, she needs. Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah, that's Jasmine. Uh, joining. <laughs> and special guest joining us for tonight. Um, our first guest of the year, first guest of the decade, first guest since a month. <laughs> Is Hina, go to, Hinachi, go and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Hina, or Hinachi, and I'm part of THS GO, or THS Dance Team, and BAM38 leader. But, but, nice. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk more about your stuff in a second. But tonight mm-hmm. we have a pretty decent list of uh, topics. Uh, we mentioned last, when we when we uh, closed off last year, that we're going to change up the format a little, and we're not going to have a whole episode just on one giant topic, because that got, that got cumbersome, and I feel like we always lost the news. So uh, Molly had the joke about, like, you know, we're going to adopt the last week tonight type uh, <laughs> type thing, where it's like a few funny news stories and one giant topic. So it was still the giant topic, but we're going to cover some news things. So after we get to know each other... Um, what are some of things we're talking about? We're talking about what we did during our break, uh, who he, who Hina is. We're going to talk a bit more about uh, some updates from our last episode because a lot of things have happened. That was a big episode. And then we're going to talk about um, what's up with AKS. Um, what's up with uh, what's up with a lot of things. And then we're also gonna, our big topic for tonight is the J-pop and idol scene in the in the Roaring Twenties. So uh, the Roaring Twenty Twenties, as it were. So mm-hmm. let's just the get roaring. Right the roaring, yeah, you know, with that. I, I think yeah, I told. They're that. trying to bring it back. They're trying to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> I think I told that story. But I'll tell the really fast version about how I had a I had a girlfriend up ages ago when I was like in high school, and I scared her with the with the stupid. It was that meme with the T Rex with the roar. It was like just a stupid mm. little, and for yeah. some reason I sent that to her. And she got scared, and I was like, "What the hell?" What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like it's not even scary. Exactly, it's, it's, it's a cute, it's it's a cute T-Rex. It's what I'm thinking about, right? Got yeah. like yeah. a hand grabber. Yeah, yeah. the chibi one, right? Yeah, yeah. it is. Like, it's it's like, 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 with a big head. I was like, I, I don't understand why she got scared it by scared it. Scared her? Yeah, it scared her, and she she got mad at me. And to be honest, that fight, almost, I think that fight broke us up. If I remember correctly, it was so long ago, I don't remember really, but she never let me forget it. Anyway, well, yeah, that's my that's my roar story. <laughs> um, anyhow, moving on. It's been a crazy, crazy hollow, ho- Halloween, Halloween. We're not Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> um, I'll go first, just real fast. Um, I pretty much I promised everyone that we'd stream more during the holidays, and then the holidays actually happened, and I realized that wasn't gonna happen. And then I went to ALA, and um, that was fun. It was busy. Um, I didn't do much except all of our panels because we had five of them and they were all like 90 minutes. So that took up most of the con. And then, um, yeah, stuff happened. And uh, here we are. Um, last weekend was NAM, and also a long, what the fuck? Yeah, anyways, I've been having event after event. So that's been why I've been really busy. But anyhow, Jasmine, how like what have you been up to? Um... Let's see, what have I been up to? Well, right now I'm working on a another cosplay, Saber from Fate. We're gonna compete. Me and my roommate are, so that's gonna be fun. I got the huh? Yes, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> but um it's looking pretty good now. It's kinda it's just chilling there. So. Oh nice. Yeah. So 
Um, we've been doing that. Slept a lot. I actually finished a few different anime that I had on my watch list, like Shield Hero, so I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> for actually doing that and not just grinding gacha games for the entire break but you know I also grinded gacha games so. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> so yeah gacha games and cosplay it's just a typical break it's all the family you know family yeah it's all the family it's like <laughs> after yeah, this game they're, okay. they're, they're, they're fine they're fine got a lot of gift cards for Christmas I don't know but uh so how were the holidays for you you know uh it was I mean, I have really bad memory, honestly. <laughs> uh, it was it was not bad. Like uh, some plans uh, didn't go like uh, uh, some things didn't go as planned. But yeah, uh, we had like a secret Santa thing with my oh. my dance group. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. we actually just exchanged gifts right now, like oh. today. <laughs> <laughs> like we're one month late. <laughs> I mean, so, yeah. I still have Christmas I, gifts with people too. I don't know. Really? <laughs> yeah. My friend has been to our house like four times, and then we've been to her house, and she still yeah. has forgotten to give us our gifts. Yeah. Oh my time. god. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I have a gift I was supposed to give to somebody at ALA, the, the con I mentioned, that was two weeks ago. And uh, I forgot to bring it. Then I'm like, I'll mail it to you, don't oh. worry. And I never did. And I still have it. Oh. And I, I don't remember if it, I'm probably not going to. I'll just wait till the next time I go up to oh. somehow we see each other because we don't live close. So <laughs> it's gonna be like next Christmas. Exactly. <laughs> like here you get two now. Here, have fun. <laughs> Double go crazy, kid. <laughs> but, but speaking of your groups, and, your group and everything, let's. Uh, mm. So, what are some of your activities? Uh, I don't think. Well, I personally don't know much much about them. I I know you do some idle activities. I did notice that. Mm. And uh, curious. So tell us a bit about that. So the N forty eight. I started in two thousand fourteen. <laughs> And I started in Vancouver. Uh, currently, I guess we're like on hiatus. We since like I'm in Toronto right now. I'm in Mississauga, and like everyone's everywhere, honestly. Mm. But yeah, our, one of our first generation members quit or uh, like graduated. I should have said that. <laughs> 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 but, like <laughs> uh, because of like school. Oh, well, she finished school, so she's actually working now. But yeah, we did like we covered AKB uh, cover of. AKB family covers, yeah, like dance covers and song covers. Usually live, we don't really record any like professional, like Odotimita uh, like mm. video covers. Yeah, okay. But we do have like, and then uh, THS Go, we're like an alt idol group or like anti idol. I don't know how you would describe it. But, yeah, like we do a lot of like covers with like usually it's like. J pop, but like also like J metal mm, as well. Yeah, like yeah. usually like do like mixes. Yeah, That's cool. So yeah, it's like I, all cutesy and hardcore. Yeah, I think there's pictures of that group that I've seen like you post recently ish. You know, sometime around sometime around Halloween. Funny Halloween, enough. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My group really loves Halloween, as you can probably tell. It, <laughs> no, it suits our theme. Exactly. It's funny because like I, w I don't know if Jasmine remembers this, but I was talking about this in the chat. I'm like, hey, we should ask her to do a Halloween episode. But we had so many people that who we wanted to do it, who wanted to do with them as well, because we had stupid topics like candy. Remember the candy ranking things? and yeah, like the candy yeah. ranking. We had, like, there were just a lot of wacky topics, and people were like, oh, I want to do that one, I want to do that one. And we, we didn't ask anyone else, because everyone was already, like, on board. But, uh, but yeah, fun fact, uh, that, it was back then, I was like, I'm going to ask her if she wants to be on the podcast. That just never did, because <laughs> we, we didn't, we ended up not needing it. But, um, anyhow... Uh, that's good. That's good. So let's jump into the show proper, um, real fast. Before we go any further, though, we talked about our updates. Talk a bit about the podcast updates. Um, obviously, I, I wanted to come back last week, but I got a little. I got a little sick. I don't think it was a conflict. I think I just had like a bad couple days. Um, I got a rough time. Yeah, I was like, I, I was just. I needed a rest for. I think that was honestly it. I think I just needed a rest for a few days. Um, but I had a, a pretty bad couple days last week. Most of last week, so I just didn't. We didn't do the podcast. I didn't even bother trying. Actually, I did try. That's actually when I asked Hina to be on. But then I just never oh, got yeah? back to you. I don't know if you remember that. I was like, be uh, on next week. I just never said anything. But um, mm -hmm. anyway, um, but we will be. Uh, schedule is not really done, but we're going to. We're, we're back weekly for the foreseeable future. And Tuesday, 7 p.m. should be our normal time. We apologize. I'm not sure if okay. anyone's even watching us right now on Wednesday. But, um, but anyhow, 
if anyone is, the chat is open, by the way. I didn't say that earlier. Chat is open both here. If you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I know a lot of people had a lot of things to say on our most recent ones, which uh, is great. I, lo I love reading comments. I show everyone all the comments in A to J, whoever sees them. Um, you'd be pleased to know that uh, it actually got to the point where Kelly, who's on last week, was all like, hey, stop showing me comments. Like, I'm tired of, like, talking about that podcast for, like, three weeks later. But, um, <laughs> but anyway... Speaking of that podcast, though, I don't know how familiar you are with these topics, um, uh, he, or Hina or Jasmine, but first of all, I don't want to go into this one this that much, because this is the one that has been the most... I've had to delete comments because of this. We talked about Vic, Vic Mignogna... Mc, uh, Mignogna. Uh, Mignogna. Yeah, I, I, don't even to, I, 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 mean, I can't. I, I don't even want to try it. Exactly. I, I'm not gonna. So we talked about him, and um, TLDR at the time... Uh, it looked like his his case had like ended badly, and you know everything got badly for him. Mm -hmm. He was appealing, but everyone appeals. But fun yeah. fact, unfortunate fun fact, um, I guess one of his appeals didn't get thrown out immediately. So it's going to, it's going forward through court, and all those YouTubers that I swear to God were only created out of this Vic thing. You know all these you know drama yeah. YouTubers. Yeah. <laughs> They've been having a field day with some, in some of the comments in, some of our, in both our most recent one and the older one we talked about, Vic. So um, I'm only bringing that up because uh, um, I'll put it in a tag and somebody will watch it and destroy destroy our comments again. I don't know. I shouldn't have brought it up. I regret it already. I'm not gonna tag it. I regret mentioning it. I don't know. I just want I just wanted to update it because there are everything else has an update too. Um, we mentioned produce 101 and like the the voting scandal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, with eyes yeah, one. Uh, the f there was so much going on because I saw that when it because I I've, I've now gotten of course of like a whole bunch of eyes one or eye zone or whatever their names are technically but like mm -hmm. I get a lot of their stuff on their feed because obviously I, I follow a lot of like forty eight family stuff in general I'm not really like I don't really like K pop like that so I don't normally like follow any of the K pop stuff. But mm -hmm. I did watch like a little bit of Produce Forty Eight. Those episodes were like three hours long, so like I didn't really watch <laughs> all of it. But like when I first heard the scandal come out, I already knew that we were going down like a road that was going to be like brutal. And like half of the fans are like, "We want to know what the real results are." The other half are like, "No, this will always be the original show. Like they earned their spot." And I'm kind of in the background, like, "But they." <laughs> but like I was like I'm not gonna engage with that so like <laughs> it was yeah it kind of sucks that um the boy group has to disband, I know X1 I guess, disbanded yeah. no the great yeah. the, no but, my favorite part of the entire story is how easy the whole thing was to debunk they used a formula they didn't just assign each person a random number it wasn't like oh they get a million and seventy one thousand blah whatever votes it was yeah. literally they took the numbers they they did a very simple like algorithm. They divided it, and everyone got the perfect amount. Whereas if you multiply this person by like 0.5 or whatever the fuck it was, you get the next person, and so on. Yeah, that was my favorite part. Um, but yeah, I don't know. All these kind of voting shows I always feel are rigged because uh, they kind of have to be. Let's be real here. Um, but the fact that they were so blatant about it, I think, was the worst part. Yeah, because they were yeah. like. And then the one guy threw like everyone under the bus, like the first guy they took up oh, the yeah. questioning, and he was like, "Everybody did it." And I was like, "Okay." Well, <laughs> apparently it's a really big deal, and I think I don't, I don't know, I, I didn't yeah. follow up on this part about if he's going to jail or not. But you had to pay for these votes. I even asked, I even asked Sean, one of our people who's in Korea, who's in South Korea, he lives over there, and yeah, you have to pay for these votes. It's not like you know you were just like. It was as if AKB48 rigged their, like, send bots we paid for the CD. Or yeah. So, yeah, this wasn't, like, American Idol where you call it a toll-free, a, technically a toll-free number. Um, yeah. you, were, you were paying for it. So it's like they collected millions or however much, you know, money that was, and then they just like, yeah, screw that. We were just keeping that money. Yeah, I didn't know but, they had to pay for the vote. Yeah. That's actually a thing. I thought, because, like, I knew there was some, like, online voting stuff that you did. Yeah, I, I didn't know you had to pay for it. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the phone voting was a, yeah the phone well I don't know if it was all of the, the voting but the phone voting like there was like you know um, a tech system where the fuck it was and that was like the equivalent oh. of like a few dollars a vote so yeah like two dollars a vote or whatever the heck wow. the, I'm not sure what the wand conversion rate is but yeah that's I know, like, 
They've been saying for like the final votes that like uh, a lot of like the Koreans were like getting really angry that like Japanese members were like making oh, it to yeah. the top. So like they started voting like the Korean members just because they are Korean. That, yeah. <laughs> that, that was to be expected. <laughs> we, we talked to, remember when we were covering that like weekly back in the day, Jasmine? <laughs> yeah, we were talking yeah. to, we, uh, that, we always thought that was going to be an outcome because, um, they, still some. For, yeah, for News Forty Eight, they were limiting it. To, they were limiting it to just Korean voting. So, mm. all right, yeah, Japanese yeah. Really weird. And they also had like the um, what was it? Like, the, and also I know that certain like TV stations won't even let like Japanese people perform. So oh, like what? I know that was like that like that was a whole thing that Aizen couldn't perform in like certain at like certain TV studios and like yeah. broadcast their performances. Like the group already was set up like to have issues especially if Japanese members got in and so a lot of people think that the so a lot of the votes were rigged out of Japanese girls favor because there was like a, there was like a lot of people were expecting it to be like 50 50 as well exactly. yeah yeah people were like, oh, like vote six and six. even I was like yeah. expecting that um uh, what upsets me is I was already kind of like I never, I never was a fan of Eyes One. If you remember, I always called them Eye Zone just to annoy everyone. <laughs> I, them I mean, I called them Eye Zone too. <laughs> but they're officially Eyes One, and I knew yeah, it, I and I knew one. it. I but I didn't one. care. It's like Eyes, Eye Zone, Eye Zone. Um, <laughs> but I changed it because I didn't want to get too attacked in like you know comments and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, the other produced the funny enough the foreign ones don't I guess because they're they're banished separately those didn't receive any nonsense but yeah X one's gone uh, I zone is I zone I one is coming back I think this the end of this month they were saying who knows yeah they haven't announced when but they're going forward yeah and yeah. BTS fans are still kind of crazy um I, I well one fan cam was from Cali but I, I people people did listen and they put fan cams in the co- the comments of my the tweet. That I put about the last podcast, so that was fun. Um, if any BTS fans are watching, I will, I'm not gonna talk smack about BTS like we did last year. Uh, last last year, it was last year for an hour. Mm-hmm. Just 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 go ahead and put some fan uh, K-pop fan cams in our uh, in our tweet, and that, that'll amuse me. So just do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's get the little con thingy. Um, oh, did anyone see that the idol doing drugs thing? Oh yeah, I heard about that with like Kaga Ai. No, like, you no know, chiming in too. Or what do you mean, like? That's the thing. Like, uh, I actually don't know where this came from. Uh, I, 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 okay, I'm at ALA. We're doing an idol panel, and someone in the mm-hmm. audience is all like, "Who do you think the idol doing drugs is?" Uh. <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" It's like, yeah, a newspaper came out and said that an idol's doing drugs from a big group, and. Um, they're not saying who, and they're going to reveal yeah, it soon. I remember this. I remember this. Didn't they say, wasn't that the same person who, like, got arrested? They never I said... Was never there, saw though? the... I, I never like, saw I it either. About it. Yeah, I never saw it yeah, either. I only saw it saying. after, like, Ai-chan, like, made a, like, a comment yeah, that, saying, like, she's not yeah. the one. Everyone... Like, not me. <laughs> no, I, I love that everyone went to her. I was like... Uh, I, I haven't even announced there. No offense, but, like... The story implied that she's in a big group, and I'm like, I, she's not in a big group anymore. She's, te- she's yeah, not anymore. Yeah. But like, it, I mean, it is strange. Like, she's the only one that's just like, hey, I'm not the one that's doing this. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> just, just like yes, no. <laughs> like, well, I know there was something where like, because um, I think around the same time they were saying like, a member of they were assuming it was like OG AKB48, like first three generations ish. Had gotten like arrested or something for <laughs> me, drug stuff, uh, and like shot. they were like, it's like just the silhouette of the person, like all shadow, black and mm. white, like Boonch is like <laughs> off the corner, like security footage shot, and they were like, oh, it's so and so, but then they're like, no, so and so was at this appearance tomorrow. Like they were trying to figure out. I don't think anyone ever came to an actual conclusion as to who that was supposed to be, but I know a lot of um, not really a lot, but like a few, like former like hello pro members had gotten into some trouble like last year well there was a lot of it's with drinking usually yeah like drinking and like there was a one girl who got like the dui and then like some of the johnny's guys are you know doing their thing yeah like one of my favorite (laughs) members he was smoking but like uh, that was a a long time ago too yeah (laughs) the on the plus side though last year speaking of kagawai real fast where we just bounced off this topic which i never updated on the thing um 
Did anyone hear the the W things that they released last year? Taco Eye is not on drugs. That'll be the thing. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, W like randomly like performed at was it a couple of shows last year? A couple of Holo Project shows. Uh, I want to oh, the spring yeah. ones, and then. Out of nowhere, like last March or April, I forget exactly when, they released like four of the songs or five of the songs, I forget how many exactly, from their from their like not never released third album. And oh, yeah. yeah, and they're yeah. the old songs, so it's kinda interesting to hear them as like old mixes. It's like, oh look, it's uh it's baby Kago and baby Suji still like, you know, singing. Oh, yeah. But it's what happened? Oh no, no I, oh. I, I thought I saw my webcam was like Oh. But it's also... for some reason. It's also funny because uh, those songs, I, I don't know if there was license. I, I was under the impression the album was finished. I can only assume that some songs couldn't be included for licensing reasons. But mm-hmm. one of the songs, like the one song that's original, was already re- reused as the Suji Nozomi solo song. And then the other, oh, like, what? yeah, then the other three songs were covers. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'm just greedy, but I kind of wonder what the, what the rest of the album was. Um, my thought is that it's that there's songs that ended up going to like Morning Musume or like Cute that we'll just never hear, you know, uh, because of that, their versions, RIP. But anyway, yeah, I just tweeted about it and uh, I don't know. So I don't know who the idol on drugs is. Honestly, we're going to come back, to, we're going to come back to this a bit in our big topic, but uh, I, I honestly feel that if, if the story was big enough, they would have revealed it already. And part of me thinks that they're not revealing it because in this day and age, it's almost like you get a bit of a backlash when you do um, idol, like, you know, scandal. You're the first one to report an idol scandal in my, you know. Yeah. You know, the, the Maho thing kind of made it like, let's, uh, l- l- let's tread with caution here a bit. Let's yeah. test the waters. And maybe they, they saw that, like, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll just won't tell. We'll just post those shadowy pictures about someone getting arrested and someone doing drugs. But, yeah. Speaking of AKS, this is actually the perfect segue for our big topic that we're going to talk about. AKS continues oh, yeah. to dissolve. Now, um, it's funny because uh, I was talking to a friend about this like yesterday, uh, and they're, they're a pretty big AKB fan, and we were discussing about the fact how even, even your casual entry-level fan, I don't think they really realize that the nonsense AKS has been going through for the past like year and a half, two years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there is a lot. There's been a lot going on as, like, I don't know. Then there was the rumor after the whole Maho scandal had calmed down. I think almost, like, the first of this year I ran into it. We were talking about, like, Aki P was trying to buy back AKS. Yeah. It, from the one chick, they're like, oh, suppose it, like, scandal. And he, the chick is like, no, we're not trying to sell AKS. And I'm like, I feel like um <laughs> So. Yeah, for, uh, and it's funny because there were people who I saw that people sharing that on Twitter, and there were comments in there too that people were like, "What? He's not a, he's not he's, he's not like at the head of AKS anymore." I'm like, "Dude, he hasn't been for a while." Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah and that's why to... when the small whole thing was happening, everyone was like, "Aki P, this yeah, he's not AKS anymore." I know he, he's <laughs> he's out he's out trying to like be a bit more under the radar in the background like he's kind of like sinking it up towards the end of his days as well like, yeah, you know, yeah. He, he's still he's writing like, lyrics and that's it so. but like he has no power and that's why yeah. like, Maho had like tweeted at him I think or like had messaged him or something and he had like responded and he was like I like, can't do anything to help you like I he had said like something they had some like very brief exchange yeah right he had said like like this is like unfortunate, you know, in a very Japanese way. Like this is unfortunate, but like there's nothing like I can really do. Like this is out of my hands type of idea. So, yeah, <laughs> that was. Uh, e. And on the other hand, um, SKE48 um, I actually didn't know that it went through. I remember hearing the rumors, and it wasn't until this thing fully went through that I looked more into it, and. They, they spun off SKE last year and I didn't even know about that. Actually, yeah. 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 Um, actually, I don't know where I was, like, what rock I was living under. Like I said, I, I knew that they were talking about it, but I assumed it was just BS. But no, uh, they, they, they sold, like, you know, a, SKE 48 to, like, their management company and now they're basically independently operated. And, uh, or I think licensed, I don't know how that really works, the way, like, the, the Zaka groups are, but, um, mm-hmm. yeah. but yeah, they're licensed. They- 
Yeah, they own like eighty percent of a of. They pretty much have decision power, like way more decision power than AKS does. Exactly, and that's apparently the case for all the groups now, or all the Japanese ones. Yeah. Um, HKT, NGT, AKB, and also for those who don't know, NMB. And I believe STU were always semi-independent in terms of that they were managed yeah. separately. So yeah, you can really tell. Like NMB's promotion is so much different. Like they do things so much differently than the rest of the forty-eight groups, because like Yamamoto owns them, and then he has this Yamamoto Zaka forty-six yeah. and all the like, things yeah. like it is. But yeah, like that one has always been pretty different. So those are all independently owned or managed now. I should say more accurately, um, and. AKS is only going to manage the overseas group, uh, groups. I, I think that's for the best. Which, yeah. by the way, most people didn't read between the lines. I don't think that they're man. Well, they're definitely not managing Eyes One, but they're not managing them like they're not going to Bangkok and like you know, hey, BNK Forty Eight, do this. They're not going to you know do. Uh, is there one in Dubai now? I forget if Dubai ever had it. M- Mumbai, Mumbai. I-, I keep making that mistake, and nobody corrected yeah. me the last time I said Dubai. <laughs> 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 Like no, so yeah, somebody correct. No, somebody corrected me in the comments, and I was so embarrassed because I, I did it in two episodes, and nobody corrected me until the second one. But um, <laughs> anyway, um, they're not flying to Mumbai and like, hey, you know, like do this, do that. Um, what they're doing is they're managing their activities in Japan. So, and that's a whole different thing. So, so like, we, when they go to Japan, yeah, they yeah, okay, like. And yeah. speaking of which, BAK Forty Eight actually uh, has expanded. Well, let me rephrase that. BNK48 management company um, used to only manage BNK48. BNK if you watch that documentary, uh, Girls Don't Cry, I believe it's called, um, yeah, they go on they, about like yeah, how, they... how broke they are. But now they're oh. yeah, now they're really big, and they changed their name. The yeah. <laughs> now they changed their name too, and they're like managing like they're trying to manage other like you know acts and um, not not just idols, yeah, but you know right. other things. Mm-hmm. I heard they were trying to like make a boy group or something. Yeah, exactly. That was the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so. Like the first male group. <laughs> so yeah, AKS is getting out of the idol game, and they changed their name yeah. to. Um, so I gotta read this again. Um, <laughs> Vernalossum. Vernalossum. Yep, it's been like Vernalossum. How do you even say that in Japanese? Exactly. Like, I'm like, oh, I, yeah. I want to see that. I want to see that. A kind of... long Japanese name. Uh, awesome. Vernalossum, yeah. It reminds me of the, uh, yeah. the Anjadamu thing, the Anger Me thing. Yeah, the Anjadamu thing. Oh my god. It Anjurma? just looks like Anger Me. Anger Me. Well, I just they... keep on saying Anger Me. Anger Me. It, just... um, it doesn't really. It's supposed to be like, what is it? Like, uh. Angelic, sort of. Angel yeah, like Tears. Oh, it's Angel Tears. Yeah. It's Larme Lar- 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 or whatever the heck that, you know, yeah. French for oh, Tears yeah. is. Oh, but then, oh, oh, Angelimu oh. does not sound like... I don't... I, it, it just didn't sound like it to me. It, it's French and Japanese, like, don't really... Yeah. <laughs> well, like, with the... Because, like, a lot of Japanese, like, idol groups will get, like, French names. Or, True. Like, Bernal, it looks, like, French. nice, but, like... Lots yeah. of anger me, just looks like anger me. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> I also love how, really nice. how anger me has like the most generic. Um, so we're looking for like font for their logo. It's just like uh, it's just a bold font. Uh, at least, uh, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I think Vernal Blossoms is a bit more flowery because I already they showed it off already, and so that I makes a lot more. Yeah, that, that makes a little more sense. Um, but uh, anger me just like block letters and it's like yeah, we're like in a a really bold like you know. It's not time streamer. I can't think of a, like a century gothic font or something, but uh, I don't know. But yeah, so well, I don't know. Hakatakana reading for Bernalossum. Oh, uh, Hakatakana. Buana. She summer. I don't even. Yeah. That's yeah. uh. Bernalossum. Oh, I see the logo. Wait, is that the logo? Is, the is logo? it just? Is it blue? Or yeah. like, oh, yeah, the I, oh yeah, ban, 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 they haven't actually, uh, well, they put out all their press releases in Japanese, and for reasons I don't know, no one's really yeah. reporting on it in English, so I'm not 100% sure, like, everything in all their reports, but as far as I know, they haven't actually said what words they're combining there, 
Um, mm-hmm. I can only assume that it's French again because I can't think of any yeah. English word that like is Verna, Verna anything. Yeah, so, Verna is French. Yeah. Oh wait, so AKS changed their name to Verna also. Yeah, it's, it's not like a different group. Like it's not a different like. No. Uh, age- oh, okay. It's, 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 I totally thought it was a whole different thing. Okay, no, my no. bad. Yeah, they they changed their name, and pe- pe- no. people are saying that oh, this is about NJT, this is about NGT, and I'm like honestly, I don't think it was that okay. That that could be a factor, but I don't think they're trying yeah, to hide. A lot of people. Yeah, I don't think they're trying to hide. I think they're just like they're just going through the more issues. Like yeah, I think they're like basically going through like. A, I don't want to say like a chapter, uh, a bankruptcy type thing, but they're going to something that they have to like liquidate and, you know, bounce people around and everything. Yeah. Um, well, probably Verna, the Verna part comes with vernalization, which is. What the hell? What does that mean? It's it's a a flower thing. It's like a part of the flower blooming. But like, it's so different from like AKS. Like, it's. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's such a I long name. I guess they really wanted to like be different. Like they wanted to change. Like yeah. Well, the whole um, I, I guess I just said that this is also the fact that they're no longer in that game anymore, and I, I wonder why. Uh, um, I, I have it in the notes somewhere that even though um, they're still like I'm like, what are they? Where is this money going? They're, they're like every single in the top whatever in Japan. Is a forty-eight group or mm-hmm. related group, and I'm or Johnny's, but you know it's a forty-eight group. <laughs> <Johnny's>. <laughs> um, and I'm like, where is this money going? It's like, wh- where is yeah. it being fed into? And I, I just don't know if there's too many, like you know, if there's just like all this bloating on the management side or what. But yeah, <laughs> or like once it, I, I guess you have to pay all these girls, and there's like a billion girls. I mean, but really, they do get paid pretty decently. Yeah, like, real, realistically, uh, think about. 500 girls and like, well, maybe not that many. It's about 400 girls. It has to be about 500. But yeah, there's hundreds of yeah, girls in all these groups. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, didn't, I mean, not to interrupt, but like, I think ahead. that part of it, I mean, I do think the NGT scandal brought up issues they were already having and they weren't like addressing and it kind of forced them to address a lot of stuff because like I know they fired like everyone like anyone who was like even mildly associated pretty much got fired and then like they didn't do so Sankyo they haven't announced oh, yeah. Sankyo for this year and like that's like their biggest money producing thing so that's why I'm actually really surprised that they haven't announced so Sankyo cause like I don't know I feel like if they need cash fast like you would do so Sankyo you know what I mean so I think that like they saw that because um who is it I forgot what group it was. But I think, like, them splitting up the groups to manage themselves also solves the whole issue where um, fans were asking for, like, actual AKB girls on AKB singles type of thing. Mm, and, like, when they, they canceled... Because, like, it's been, a, like, a, a progression. Like, they canceled Kennens. They, like, definitely, like, sh- severely decreased the amount of, like, sister groups. New centers, new, like, everything. Bushy after Sashi left. And then, like, now... They're going into like name change. Every group manages themselves now. I think that helps solve a lot of problems because they probably had a lot of multiple people working with different groups, and that's probably why everything was getting really saturated with singles and all of that. So I mean, now we don't even have like Jarena is not like on a single like like just like everything is changing. I feel right now, and so they're just like, if we stay the same, like we're gonna die. Like I think they just kind of like realize that that people would like. Like NGT like lost everything. They know that they like they're not invincible anymore, I guess. So they kind of had to I don't know, figure something out. And considering how well the Zaka groups are doing, like they're doing super well, just like staying separate, like the group staying separate. <laughs> I think they're kind of trying to go towards that. Well, I don't know. The, the Zaka groups of course are they're Sony, so like they even if yeah. even if they start fucking up, they have like literally like one of the top five companies like biggest wise you know in the world exactly. behind them so i don't think that yeah. they're, i'm pretty sure even if they were losing money sony's probably like yeah they're not losing enough you know we'll just uh yeah, exactly <laughs> like, we'll, no, but we'll, i mean like in terms of management style exactly I think yeah trying to be more, the way the zaka groups are managed because i don't know like it just it's just more sustainable and they still have like a lot of members and stuff so it's just weird you know. i mean I, I don't know how this is gonna uh this is I all gonna pan out 
I know. <laughs> um, I, I, like, how would that work now, though? Like now, now you have to get all these disparate people. Like you know, and even then, like some of the foreign groups weren't showing up or weren't participating. So, uh, you know. are we gonna start seeing that? Like, oh, you know, I'm sure NGT probably won't. Um, like you know, HKT is not participating because we, we got like this other event or whatever. You know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, would it just be an inner AKB? So, thank you. I mean, like, I wouldn't like, be mad. That would be kind of cool. Like, that's like, just bad regression. I, I mean, don't they'd know. probably like change it to like the top forty-eight, and then like it'd be like within AKB only. Like, I see if they bring back so thank I see it something like that because they didn't even Jankin this year. Like, none of their events. Oh, I, you know, I forgot it's, about Jankin. It's, it's weird. Oh, yeah. God. Like, no Jankin. They just barely had request hour, and it was only, like, the top 50, and they normally do, like, 100, 100. Yeah. So. Hold on. I need, to start, I need to start the stream again. Not that it... Oh, you know what? There we go. It came back. God damn it. It was just me. Ignore me. The stream wasn't loading <laughs> for me. And I refreshed it, and it came back. I'm like, oh, shit. I almost stopped it. And, uh, anyways, I hate um, doing that because I have to edit it on YouTube to bring two parts together. I mean, I'm recording it separately. Mm -hmm. But I, I just don't. I, anyways, I'll stop talking now. So I'm gonna edit that out later. But um, but real fast as a aside, Maho actually is on a a drama now. Actually, I had the title and I didn't write it down like a dumbass. But yeah, Maho, um, her drama that she's on um debuted I think last week. So uh, she's I don't want to say she's doing okay, but um, she's doing she, she's managing good for herself. Yeah, she's managing. Um, unfortunately, far more than uh, AKS is. Um, but yeah, like speaking of the stuff you were saying though about the NGT thing, um, if you recall, they were backpedaling a bit from some of the earlier like nonsense they were involved with. Um, over it was a bit almost two years now where they mentioned how they weren't gonna do like the the underage like not the underage photo books, but like they were right. gonna do like the risque underage uh, uh, photo books. Yeah. Yeah. Or put them in the bikini the videos. Came out. Yeah. Or put them because in the, they the bikini things. Yeah. That she was younger than she was, even though she was legally like eighteen. That well, it, it was just like it looked. It looked. <laughs> well, well, I, I, we're never gonna see, and it's it's probably for the best. Obviously, we're never gonna see heavy rotation with like 13, 13, 14, however old she was, Drina, like you know. uh in a tub with like naked with milk or whatever the fuck was going on. I, I forget exactly <laughs> what happened in that video. And speaking of which, speaking of that video, um, when I think that when they kind of revisited that sorta, you know, video wise for um, Kimiwa Melody, like obviously way later, it's, you know, um, that's a far different video. To um, that's literally like the, the polar opposite to uh, to heavy rotation. So. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I think they were trying a little, and then they also they would keep and well, Occupy was still involved back then. Occupy would keep going on about like we don't have a dating thing, we don't have a dating thing, even though they kind of did, but you know, like we don't have yeah. a dating thing. It was thing. like proud upon, but it wasn't like oh, it was more of like you can do it, but if you get caught, we're not gonna help you. Like that's yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what it felt like to me at a certain point. Oh yeah, let me uh. Well, <laughs> Wesley did say it froze. Okay, so it, it it is freezing a little. Let me actually just restart it. I think it's just we had we had a bad connection. I don't know where it got bad. Hold on, let me restart it. Um, uh, but we'll keep talking. But like, like you were saying though, um, I don't know. That's another topic for a bigger one. Let's just move into that one and we'll start bringing into this. Let me up. Let me up the. I, I thought we needed a longer delay because I don't know why. I see I reset everything to default. And I only had like a 10, uh, 15 second delay on our stream. Okay. So I'm going to wait for it to, to start. Okay, there it goes. It actually started on time. Thank God. Okay. So um, this is a delay, so it won't connect for a second. But so our big topic, we're going to keep jumping into this one because I, I, I feel like the stuff, at least I'm going to start saying, is a bit more tied into it, is predictions for the roaring 20s and uh, I have a big one and I, I don't know if this is going to take up all the time I don't want it to because this is just my uh, my deep dive into this topic that we actually made it a whole segment in the panel hold on <laughs> um, idols in the roaring 20s what we'll call this is what is the idol thing today? And by the idol thing, I mean like the idol zeitgeist, the idol like, you know, ideal, so to speak. Because a lot of things have happened that have been changing it. Um, the biggest yeah. one 
and don't get me wrong, like none of this is universal, but one of the biggest ones is the dating thing. Um, and something that I, I keep pointing out is that uh, is that meeting from uh, Denbagumi Inc. is like, hey, I'm married. <laughs> Or I'm getting. Was she getting married or is she married? I think she is married. Um, and she's like, I'm still gonna keep doing my thing though. Everyone support me, and everyone did. And everyone like she oh, announced. Yeah, yeah, and then she announced it at a concert for the record, and everyone just cheered yeah. and like, yeah, yeah, which, which is which is good. I think that's good. That's yeah. really good though. Like, it's good. it could have been way worse. Yeah, compared to like the idol, like the Tokyo Idols documentary when they were doing the whole thing, and like the biggest issue, like issue that. Well, Issue. but like that they brought up and that was like the Japanese men are like ch chasing idols because it's like free love with no effort and like the girls don't have like you know what I mean like it was like they had framed that to be like a larger part of like why idol culture wasn't so great and so I think considering that like fans are like cheering for idols getting married and having kids and like having real lives I think is like a really good thing because, like, I know back in the day, like, if they, like, were even seen, like, walking with a guy, it was, yeah, like, the guy, yeah. like, it was, like, the world exploded, and, like, everyone was mad, people were burning pictures. Like, just, <laughs> like in 2016 or 17, Ukraine had a scandal, like, she took a selfie with, I think, a Johnny's guy, and yeah. like, people were, like, burning her pictures, and I was like, guys, guys, like, we need to calm down. <laughs> And so I'm good that in this short span of three years, <laughs> we can hopefully move on to better places. But I don't know. That's good. Yeah. Um, part of my thing about the dating thing is like, and I mentioned this in the past, but like, I, I, I like to deep dive into things, you know, like, um, you know, the history of things, so to speak. And I think at some point, the whole girl next door ideal that like was the idol thing like even though that type has kind of changed and modernized in most people's mindset um it never and i mean japanese as well obviously things are culturally way different than the west but um it definitely is modernized there as well it takes th things those kind of things seem to move a bit slower like you know yeah. um but that modernizes but the idol ideal never really did and then like so, a pretty I don't want to say, a, uh, you know, a pretty vocal or whatever subset of fans probably just made the image look a little weirder for some people. Because those people do exist. Don't get yeah. me wrong. Yeah, those people exactly, in the documentary exactly. uh, and other things like that do exist who are like, yeah. she, she she walked with the guy and she was holding hands. Like, I'm burning everything and I'm I'm going to, like, badmouth her on Twitter and so on. Um, yeah. But for every one of them, and even in Japan, I don't know. Um I think it's a it's a far more su supportive thing than people seem to think. I, I think I think yeah. the biggest thing is I think things are very different if you're a mainstream idol or if you're an indie idol, and yeah. it is a case by case basis. But I think still things are a bit more slower moving in the indie scene because mm -hmm. you cater more towards the fans that you know their names. They like, go to everything, yeah. you know. And like it's almost you have to like pay more attention like because like when you're in a bigger group or even just in a bigger company like you can kind of like like you have people that will like block that stuff for you but if it's like you and your like cousin is managing you like you know like what i mean yeah. it's like yeah. and it is like you're saying like on a much more like personal scale like when you know their names and like you can pick people out in a crowd and like yeah i do i do think that that does keep things moving slower just because of like they're used to the closeness and so like pulling that apart like breaking the illusion like crushes a lot harder than like when you're in like a major company or like even a more popular idol and and then besides her, there's actually several other examples that i was going to throw out there um some of them kind of escaped me oh like the biggest ones that i love before there's actually another i'll say this one first is um Lirika's what's her last name? Suto, Suto. Suto. Yeah. Uh, she yeah, but, oh. she was the one who was all like, Oh, by the way guys, I'm getting married. Yeah. I'm getting married. <laughs> everyone I watched because I watched that live and everyone in N and B like knew what she was about to say. She was oh, like, yeah. and I have something to say and they're like, No no no, like don't say a roof. I'm like, please don't. That was insane. And then, it was already like a rough so sinkio because they had to cancel the concert and like it was rained out. And Trina like passed out concert. or whatever or fall, fallen down. No, 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 that wasn't that. That wasn't that so sinkio. Oh, that it wasn't. Was, like, yeah, I was like, 
That was Wait, the what? Recent. I don't remember that. It was the one before that, and like Yui Han had to get on the news and apologize for like, oh, the rain. Oh, wait. And you're like, right, everyone you're right, was you're like, right. wasn't that her fault? And everyone had to watch this so Cinco in, in the tents, like the changing tents for the girls, like yes. on the TV. No, uh, I actually yeah. I actually didn't watch that. Okay, that makes sense why I didn't watch it. Because I'm like, I watched the yeah. last one with I watched the last one with you guys. Or I don't think it was with you, but it was with, it was with Molly and and uh, Konaru. But um, yeah. Anyway, it was so it makes sense why I didn't sad. watch it. Um, it was like, really depressing. And then she did that. And everyone just had their and then oh, it was just sad. And then Mayu announced her grad. And, like, yes, there we go. Was, okay. <laughs> And Mayu seemed pretty uh, pissed that like Didika like yeah. sort of took her like yeah, stole her she, thunder, she was, yeah. And Jur- and that's when Jury got uh, Takahashi Jury got in trouble because she called out Riri Pon in her speech. Yes, yeah. About it, and then they put her like they're like you can't do that, bro. Because she was like some yeah. people don't know how to. And I was like, oh, oh my god, yeah, yeah it that's true. Really bad. <laughs> it was a very hostile election here. <laughs> And then after the Senbatsu, like, um, Niripon was actually offered, like, to stay. Like, she was allowed to stay yeah. if she did, wanted to. Yeah. And then, like, I was yeah. shocked. I was happy for her, though. But then she still declined. Yeah, she was like... But it would have been cool. Leave. Yeah, it was definitely interesting, though. Because a lot of people, like, some people were very angry about it. Because they're like, yeah. oh, we got... Because, like, in the past, like, people got, like, fired for stuff like that. And then she was, like, allowed to stay. But then again, it's NMB, and they're not managed at the same place. But, yeah. I mean, I think it will have been... I said I liked it. I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of how she did it. Like I wasn't her. Like she was one of my Oshis. I was just sad more about her leaving because, like, I thought she was yeah. going to be like. I was really happy about that. So I think I was more like bitter about that than her actually like announcing her being married. But I do understand why some people, especially considering all the things that had already happened, that so thank you. That was just like too much <laughs> for them, at least you know. So. Yeah. And then there's other ones like uh, who was the one? Wait, was it uh, was it Pului? Who was it? The one who recently was uh, from was like, oh, I've been married, you know, and I managed to hide it for the past. I think it was Pului, right? Um, Jasmine, I'm not mistaken. I I, I remember that this second. I I wish I would have written that down, but I think she was married her entire time during Billy Idol, and I was like, what the oh. hell? Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, Pului, Pului Pului was like, was like, oh, by the way, I, I, I've been married for like four years or whatever it was. Yes. And, oh my god! And Pului, of course, being the person who started Biss, um, mm-hmm. you know, and started all of basically what we would kind of consider like the alt idol and so idol, on. Yeah. yeah, the 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 mother of the alt idols, and she's like, yeah, I've been married for a while, and she just like dropped that on Twitter. <laughs> and, yeah, and so, then, like, no, everyone and people, and all the people from the groups were like, oh yeah, like kind of like like everyone knew, <laughs> like you know, everyone, you know, all of her, all of her homies and all the groups were like, yeah, congrats, mm-hmm. like ah, lol, it's like lol to the fans. <laughs> but um. But yeah, I actually totally forgot about that one until I thought about it. But that's a perfect segue because my other favorite one is the idol who um, reveals their relationship later. But when you do the math, it's like they've been like dating the entire time or married the entire time they were idols. Yeah. Um, there's several. Like I remember Aya Matsura. Like I remember back in the day, and I only say this because she's the one I remember the most. Back in the day, she was one of the first idols. I think she was the first idol I ever really like knew of as an idol. Like when I knew what it was, and I kind of followed. And I remember hearing rumors that she was dating the guy from Winds or whatever and um oh. it's just rumors just rumors like for years and then like she, she even went solo was doing her own like a more like mature solo things still still doesn't mention anything the second all that's done and she's like kind of retiring sort of it's like oh by the way like I've been dating this guy for 10 years and we're getting married <laughs> <laughs> and it was like the exact timeline of like when the rumors started and I was like what the fuck and there's there's examples like that, like crazy. Um, I believe the the girl who left for Momo and Clover Z got married recently, um, oh, yeah. and they go. The list goes on, which is great. I'm not you're not judging any of this stuff. Yeah. Idols um, revealing that they've been like they're like 40 or 50, and we're like, oh, that's yeah, like the 20. other. No, thank you. That's actually perfect because that's the other big thing is the age. Um, <laughs> it's funny because like, I I keep thinking that like everyone knows this, but I every every so often I'll say it in a panel. And, like, nobody knows who we're talking about. And th- this was a big term, like, when I was studying, like, my Japanese teacher told me this term, like, my J1 teacher, uh, like, a Christmas cake. Does anyone know? Do you know what a Christmas cake is, Jasmine, out of curiosity? A Christmas cake? I'm curious if I've ever told, if, if you've heard me talk about this. Is that a, do you know what a Christmas I know. cake is? Wait, you mean, like, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, the I know. Old on the inside because like fruitcake. No. Hey, you want to you know? explain it? You can explain. What no, is it? Is that <laughs> Wait, is is it like uh, comparing girls to like Christmas cake? Yeah. Um, and like uh, I don't know how to put it to words. Um, but basically, um. Uh, Japan celebrates like you know Christmas Eve over Christmas. So yeah. on the twenty fourth, everyone goes out and buys their Christmas cakes, and nobody does it on the Christmas Day, twenty fifth. So from then on, they become they go like half off. They're on clearance or whatever in the stores. Mm. So the idea is that you want to go like settle down and live your life before you're twenty five, and then when you're twenty five, you become a Christmas cake, and like. It's a very derogatory term. Please don't go around using that like A to J yeah. taught us, A to J taught us Christmas cakes. Um, I'm not. I'm not trying to say that that's what they were. That's what you should have ever called anyone. Like you it's know. very common in Asia, though. Like they're no. called like leftovers and stuff. Thank like you. That. The, the, yeah, essentially, like what? Yeah. There are and, terms and in other like languages terms. for this. Yeah. yeah. It's, there's a similar term in Chinese for this, a similar term in Canto for this, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. uh, like how, how crazy is that? Yeah. But um, that but, was- I mean, lately it's it hasn't been like that. Like I've I've watched like a lot of like interview, like you know, like the street interviews, and like a lot of people are saying like, oh, like a lot of people are getting married around thirty now because yeah. like people yeah. focus on their careers and like it's expensive to find a place, thing like that. It's just everything. Yeah. It's everything's changed. It's not like back then when our parents like were able to get married early and. So. Like you get married at fifteen, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, uh, yeah, like, yeah. I, I think uh, it's become more of like a lighthearted thing for older members because, like, I remember back in the early AKB days with like Ohori Megumi, and she was she wasn't really that old. She was maybe like in her early twenties, but she was considered like they called her like you know like Basan and all. Yeah, that. Like they called her grandma. Yeah, and like because I mean people were like 14, 16, so like yeah, I watched like, like really funny roasts though, like yeah. when like Ukrainian roasted her. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, like they used to go hard, but like when Koji Haru got that old, like yeah. people like joked Koji Haru was like you're like they're like you're gonna be graduate when you're like forty, like it's like <laughs> a thing that we're like you're old and we love you, like it was just I think it's like funny, like I mean like people still roasted Koji, but and that's obviously like different idols, so but like. I think, like, legacy idols are becoming, like, a thing, almost. Like, Yikurin's kind of doing this, like, forever idol, like, eternal idol thing. And, like, I think for some people, like, there's a, there's, like, almost, like, a group of people who are here for, like, the idols there forever type of idea. So, I don't know. Yeah, I remember, I, like, uh, I remember, um, similar to, to that, uh, Yuko Nakazawa used to, I remember when she graduated from Morning Musume. She was like the first leader of Morning Musume. Was she the first leader? Yeah, she was the first leader of Morning Musume. And when she graduated, she was like, oh, I'm twice the age of the youngest member. And she was like 26. Yeah. And, I'm yeah. like, and she's like, I'm so old. I need to leave. And it just like, <laughs> and that's kind of like the average age for some of the bigger groups. AKB has a ton of members that are like, you know, well past like 25. 28. Uh, and it's funny because I know some of them, a lot of them leave just because they're like, I forgot, I think it was Koji Haru in particular. She was like, I was sitting in, like, the dressing room or something, and I realized that, like, I could be some of these girls' mother. And it was like, <laughs> she was, like, shook. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and, like, I know that's why she, like, finally decided that, like, maybe it was time to move on. But I I also feel that, like, when they're like, oh, I'm twice this girl's age, like, they find, like, get that same energy. They're like, I feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, um, I'm, I'm, bit older than some of our like younger members of eight I'm, I'm not twice the age of anyone but when uh <laughs> but when we when i remember when we first started a to j and like some of the members were like you know like 19 and 20 i'm like oh my god what am i doing hanging out with these kids and then like <laughs> but now but now they're like 24 25 i'm this was so i don't know if she was trying to like talk some act to me molly when we were at eight uh, for those who don't know molly's one of the one of the og a to j people we were at ala this past weekend and she it was we're sitting there like drinking not, i'm not gonna lie we're drinking kind of lightly i don't know if it was like a depressing thing for her to say but she looks at me she's like manual this year i turned the age you were when you met me and i was like what the, what? Fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to be <laughs> I'm like, do you sit it's here thinking of yeah the, the thoughts? I'm like, are you are you saying I was old when I met you and I'm fucking ancient <laughs> now or something? <laughs> but um, 
But yeah, I was like, what the hell kind of thing is that to say? But yeah, I don't know, just just uh, making some light of there. <laughs> but um, but obviously there's groups like Denpakumi that we mentioned earlier. Well, they kind of screwed up, not screwed up, but they kind of like their ratio is a little different now because they have the two younger members. Um, mm-hmm. also Rip uh, Bebo guy, I didn't know that they were not around anymore until we were doing the we were doing that um doing our panel and somebody's like, oh yeah, they broke they broke up recently. Um, twenty seven and up. Uh, oh, 27 and up is, oh, Bebelka. The, they were one of the, I don't want to say sister groups, but they were one of the groups, uh, like Nijikon and Bebelka were the, the, um, the groups that, uh, Dempa got their members from. Bebelka was baseball girls, if I'm not mistaken. They were like the baseball yeah. themed yeah. idol group. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, 27 and up is, is unsurprisingly common. It, it is surprisingly common. That's what he said. Surprisingly common. I agree. Um, I, I, I always love to bring a Predia. Um, because their entire image is that they're idols that are like over thirty and they're they're mature and you know. Yeah, um, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of getting a little over some of the one tr- the run twick uh, twick trick. Like, oh, sexy trick. song, sexy song, sexy song. Um, but it's still fun and it's still interesting that they're owning. They're, they're they literally own that image. That's like the whole. That's their whole shtick. Like, we're the mature idols, you know. Um, yeah. it's, it's sort of like what SDN48 was exactly, sort of trying yeah. to do, yeah, it's to do yeah. so it didn't really work out. <laughs> and they weren't really old. that. I know they weren't that old. It was, it was like the... weren't they like nearing thirty, but not really, yeah. not yeah, actually thirty I think yet. Only like one or two members at the time that they were formed. They yeah, were like that old, but they were like a fun, just like different group, you know. Like they yeah. only performed on like one day a week, Saturday night. That was like their whole yeah. Day. And it was yeah. actually like. Was it like eighteen plus or nineteen plus or something yeah, like, like that? Plus like, show. Yeah. And then now, like the AKB girls, like do these dances and stuff. It's like <laughs> now it's not even eighteen plus anymore. Yeah, it's like <laughs> like it's like whatever. You go to a concert, there's no point. Like, you walk in a garden, and it's just like whatever. yeah. <laughs> but before it was like, oh, it's it's scandalous. It's eighteen plus, you know. Like, like this is oh, this is too mature. Like yeah. <laughs> And it was nice. They gave Ahura Megumi so a little more to do before she finally de- <laughs> departed. Yeah. <laughs> but they didn't end way too early. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, it would have been fun. You know. I wonder what a, a future like SDN48 would look like today. But uh, we'll never yeah. know. Uh, they'd be Predia 2.0 or so. They'd be Predia before Predia was Predia. I said that way too many times. Yeah. But yes. Um, there's also that member from Candy Syrup. Who's God? I wish I don't know how I forgot her name because she's like my, one of my good friends. Like she's his like mega Oshi, um, but she uh, she left Candy. Well, she didn't leave Candy Sir. Candy Sir broke up because a bunch of nonsense with her manager. Yeah. But uh, when Candy Sir broke up, um, she kind of did her own thing for about a year, and then recently she's like, "Hey, by the way, guys, I'm gonna publish a book like on like plastic surgery and looking younger, and I'm 38." <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> like, wait! So she had plastic surgery to look younger? I think so. I, I don't want to call her out like that. That was the whole point of it. But yeah, I think she was writing a book on plastic surgery. I don't know. If she's I don't know. If she already had oh. it. I mean, I'll be real. She looks like she's had lots. But um, but the, that's personal. I mean, that's just personal opinion. I have no idea. I don't want to be smircher. She's really nice too. I met her before at, at do an event with with a friend of mine. But um, uh, don't talk smack. But she is gonna she she is gonna go on like a journey, I guess, to like look younger or to like keep her youth or whatever the heck it is. And she's gonna write, and that's her new that's her new shtick. I'm 38, and I'm not gonna look it, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that's. I mean, Which she already has Asian genes. I yeah. Mean. Yeah, she's she's got she's got a a good setup for herself going already. So. Yeah, I mean the fountain of youth, <laughs> Asian. Yeah. That, that's what she's gonna go find, like the fountain of youth. Like she's gonna reignite the whole search. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, there's a lot of uh. So yeah, the idol scene is like crazy changing in that respect, which is for probably for the best. Uh, and mm-hmm. there's been a lot of things. So it's been it's been a long time coming, I think. Um. I think the days yeah. of like you know Michan shaving her head and you know, um, which which was her choice by the way, and I always wondered yeah. what the point of that was. It was. She just I don't know why. Well, I think I. Well, I mean, it I got was... really big though. Like everyone yeah. started covering it, even like the like regular Yahoo. news. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yahoo News also co- uh, covered Jankin too because they were like. Oh, so Yahoo she news. she's graduating. Like, yes, yeah, she year, is. Right? Yeah. April second. She It'd be is. funny if it was April first. It's like April Fools. <laughs> 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 I 
and she's like the last generation like the last first generation yep. member in the group yeah. right and yeah. some people are like oh yes finally and then like some people are pretty sad too because AKB's yeah. changed a lot like AKB doesn't look like how they used to look like I honestly like, don't know, really know any AKB48 members like I was talking about that when like, we were watching right Senbatsu yeah like obviously I know Michan but we were talking about that when yeah, we were yeah. watching Senbatsu uh, the lot 2018 yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, how I was like who are these people that are actually AKB48 <laughs> You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think they've gotten the generation shift because they had a lot of shift. Like the last two years has been like growing, like pains of like older members hanging on, younger members like trying to force their way up. There was like really mm-hmm. nowhere. Like it was a really bad growing pains. But I think now they have like a very solid, like line, like confident lineup now because they've got like Okada Nana. And she's kind of taken over a lot of like the responsibility and Yuri and Nana are like a good like friendship within the group that a lot of people root for now. And then like the new center, Yamauchi Mizuki, I had I had not gonna lie. I heard her nickname Zuki a few times, but I didn't realize how <laughs> relevant she was. And then like she's now center. I was like, I guess. <laughs> well, they were able to recover from Moeka. They didn't just like like panic fall back and just like make me Chan Center, which I was actually really happy about. Because like I love Grat like old members getting like a nice spot but I also feel like it doesn't help the group very much if like they gave Michan that center because that's kind of how I felt when they gave Sashi the center for that AKB song and then she got the center for the HKT song and I was like like you really that kind of was like a lost opportunity I feel for them to like give that like finally move on so I feel like AKS was being like very overly cautious in terms of like picking centers and being like well we can't can't make some girl that like people don't know but i think they finally also got it but the fans weren't joking when they were like we want so-and-so so like handshake sales don't lie but <laughs> <laughs> like it's like e. i mean ske finally got it and then we had get got a new center too so and their sales went up actually so i was like well i'm glad that you guys are finally getting ahead <laughs> But. I actually hadn't heard SKT, SKT, SKE for a while, and I was like, "Hey, what are they up to?" And I saw that they they were like they had a couple of pretty big singles last year, and I was like, "Really?" I'm like, "I didn't know they were still doing very well, you know, like sales wise, so to speak." Um, so Did I don't you hear know. Frustration, huh? Frustration, the SKE single yeah. that came out. That song threw me off so hard. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. They were, like, in L.A. when they shot it. Yeah. Um, They were, like, kind of, like, in a rougher area, and they were on the ground. I was like, whoa. This was not... (laughs) (laughs) Like, I was expecting some dramatic ballet, because you got, like, Furuhata now as center. She's got really good, like, wonderful vocals. But they were, like, hip-hopping it, like... I was like, oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) I was... Not what you expected? Yeah, yeah. But it was like, SK has always been dance centered. And so they got to do that kind of stuff. Like, they, they seem to be moving more towards that again, which makes me happy. So I was like, okay, this is good. This is good. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I think Idol is, is, like, at least the J Idol scene is learning a lot from, like, just how they've done things in the past and just how, like, things are changing now. Like, there's now English subtitles on all the AKB videos, and that actually... Mm-hmm. I was like, wait, when did this happen? Like, I remember, like, doing the translating to translate, <laughs> like, subtitles to try and, like... So, I mean, I feel like they're, I guess, growing up. Yeah, that's finally becoming more across the board. Like, um, mm-hmm. Hello, I mean, well, not Hello Project, exactly. Upfront, because they do it even for yeah. their non idol stuff. Upfront has been doing that for years, like, like exactly. now. They've been doing it for, like, f- f- five, six years. And um, Wasta's been doing it like since their formation, and there's there's mm-hmm. more groups. Those are just the ones that come to mind immediately. Um, many other groups have been doing it for a while too. Uh, it's funny, Common Joshi. I don't think does it, but um, their official pages will share like the fan subs, which always amuses me. Yeah, yeah, they'll be like, thanks to our Portuguese fans, thanks to our uh, English speaking fans. Here are sub videos of our of our singles or whatever. And I'm like, like just... hey, we don't even have to do it. <laughs> no, like, oh my god, we're so lazy. <laughs> but no, it's, it's just funny they do it. Um, also, speaking of some of the changing idol stuff, um, Johnny's has finally come out of their shell, so yes. to speak. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's funny because I made a tweet. 
and it was kind of it was kind of like you know a uh, hot take tweet when he died about like oh what the horror horrific things that he's been involved with and he was a horrible person because um because mm-hmm. i saw a lot of like oh rip you know like rip johnny he was such a, a pioneer or whatever i'm like dude that guy was like the, the guy was trash but um <laughs> he was fucking, like it, it, like he, I, I won't go into it here but look look into it he, he was trash um and he, he lived a really long life like scot-free from all that bullshit but uh any uh you know things coming back to him but um like almost a second he died um uh Things changed within Johnny's, and now they have YouTube channels. Um, there's talk. They like drop every Arashi video like on the planet. Exactly. Earth, like, yeah. One day, like it was just like it's like they've been waiting. I remember, like I did. I, I went to the Hello Kitty Cafe in um in Taiwan, and we did a video for E to J there because we didn't do it officially. Like they, we were literally the only customers there, and they, they didn't care that we had a whole setup. We just started filming. Um, so we filmed the whole thing there, and um. At one point, they were playing "Love So Sweet" in the background of the, of the video, and every time we would upload that video, it would keep getting taken down because of "Fucking Love So Sweet," which is an Arashi song, by the way. It's like it's one of the Hahana Yori Dango songs, and uh, yeah. it just. It, my point is, is that that video never got uploaded because, like, it was too. It, it was literally a big part of the video. I didn't want to make it silent. Because then I had to change the whole flow of it, and I was like, "Fuck, fucking Johnny's! Like they're gonna ruin this video." I didn't really care about it that much. <laughs> I was still in Taiwan when we were editing it. Um, so anyway, and now Johnny's is everywhere. Uh, Arashi's everywhere. I mean, and not only that, but they sent a group to last year's um, Cherry Blossom Festival in LA, and I forget the name already. I really should write that name down. I said it in the past podcast, mm-hmm. but they sent a group is to it perform. A new one? It's a new one. It, it's it's like one of the. Is it King and Prince? I think it is. I think it is. I want to say Prince was in was in the name, but um. Yeah. But yeah, they sent a group to perform there. Nobody really went because th- thanks to fucking Johnny's never doing English stuff. Most people were like, "Who?" You no, know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, they performed at the Cherry Blossom Festival. Oh, not Cherry Blossom. I'm sorry. The um, what the fuck's it called Nisei Week. That's what it is. I'm like Cherry Blossom Festival was in. It was way Johnny Johnny Kigawa was still alive, I believe. But. Uh, He's like, no, no Cherry Blossom Festival. But I meant the, the Nisei <laughs> week. Um, he, th- they sent him over during that. And there's also, like, talk about, like, you know, other uh, U.S. shows and uh, um, stuff on the DL, to be honest. Like, you know, like, just feelers in certain events. They're like, hey, you want, want one of our groups? You know, like, take a group. You want some of this? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't think we'll see Arashi anytime. We'll probably, if ever, we definitely probably won't see Arashi, like, at a, a, a small event or a con near you. But you might see other Johnny's yeah. groups. And, um, see, like, I mean, it would be nice if they sent, like, Heisei Jump. Because I know at least people, like, know about Heisei Jump. Exactly. Like, yeah. they don't, like, they've at least heard the name. So, mm-hmm. that and Katoon. But I don't know. Katoon, I don't think, is doing stuff right now. They, yeah. like, go in and out. So, I don't think they're doing anything right now. But in terms of groups, I mean, it, they would probably sing, like, either, like, Heisei Jump or King and Prince. But I guess it depends on, like, the event. Like, if the event would promote a lot for them. Like, they should just, like, send them to AX and give them the side <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be... I'm not... This this has nothing to do with inside information, because I have nothing to, about AX. Like, the, the things I was hinting at earlier with other events. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them shows up at AX, though, just because of the way they've been, like, shopping around. I'd actually be surprised mm-hmm. if they weren't, like, if any group wasn't. Um, yeah. Because it seems like Johnny's is finally like, hey, we want to get our stuff outside of Japan, which um, is a topic that I think is way beyond this, the scope of this podcast. But um, I always talk about the jazz rack thing because like nobody seems to know about like that. Well, okay, nobody really knows what it is. And to be honest, I could barely explain it myself. But if you look at any CD, most CDs, not if it's like independently released, you look at the back, you see that stupid jazz rack logo. You know, the the, the jazz rack like kind of thing, and. Uh, there's certain agreements that that kept a lot of music like you know outside outside only in japan or within asia and basically there's a lot of like old japanese people who are very hardcore about like you know we want to maintain our rights and uh our right to no, music that we- <laughs> yeah if you've been paying attention like pony canyon was was just as bad for the longest time they only yeah and then there was i don't want to Say that I don't think I actually don't think he died. Somebody just retired, and suddenly when that guy's gone, it's like, hey, you know, YouTube channels are lifted. Yeah. We unblocked everything. Hey, you can buy our CDs on all these sites again. Um, yeah. 
you're on Spotify. <laughs> yep. I think that's the big thing that's been happening is like when like AKB only has like their first like album on Spotify, but like NMB, all of their stuff is on Spotify now. <laughs> like some random videos are still region blocked. Yeah. Like yeah, well, some like, of them some of them have to do with like weird collabs, things like that, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. And so Sony is still one of the big holdouts, and I wonder if they ever won't be stupid like that. But uh, Avex doubled down a couple years ago, but I think that they'll come around. But yeah, like there was a point. Well, AK, when AKS like blocked most of their stuff, or whichever their company I was. I remember that the whole YouTube copyright. Yeah, that was actually to be, thing. That was like insane. People in their were, like, yeah, crying. in their defense. That wasn't so much all the Jazzback bullshit. That was just YouTube being like, you know. Well, yeah, I knew that was yeah. like a YouTube problem. That, that was because, YouTube like, being stupid. It had like contradicted like Japanese, oh, a lot of yeah. Asian like copyright laws. Yeah, exactly. The, the like, fucking Jazzback thing. But it, it, it was like, yeah. it, it was such an easy thing to get around though. It was like, dude, just take out this one thing and all of our stuff will be back. And YouTube's like, nah, fuck you, you know? Like, every, you do the yeah. same as everyone else. Um, But yeah. And, but I remember people like, like started like everyone like all of a sudden became like this high tech proxy master like people were like I knew people were like, like crying because they go. could not <laughs> watch video. like I was like guys guys no <laughs> and then they slowly started coming back like video by video <laughs> no I remember for like a year all I would, and that's actually how I grew to really love them by the way for like a year I would only share like SNH48 versions because like their, their stuff was like was just up forever and they were still they were still involved back then I believe they were still yeah, like you know the, yeah the um which by the way is also funny like as a big aside is like now that Team SH exists it's like uh, every so often they're at the same event that you don't really know like of course you know AKS is really going to talk about it but if, if you know the event that they're at it's like hey SNH is the one like headlining that and you're opening for SNH48 is that weird <laughs> There was a weird one, and it was like it was like um I think it was some competition show, and it was like two Team SH girls were there, and like they're like how will they? Well, the article was all like how like they react like the <laughs> SNH senpai. Like I was like that must be kind of awkward, yes. <laughs> like because I don't know SNH apparently is not doing too hot though. Well, like their whole company. They actually they they're, 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 yeah they're AKS in microcosm in that they expanded like crazy. Um, and, and now they're kind of like, oops, um, let us back up a little. But to be fair, like, this is way off topic, but to be fair, they, uh, they have a lot of members who are like really, really, really famous in like China who are like in all yeah. the dramas, things like that. Like, you know, mm -hmm. so. I actually saw one of them in like one of the next Netflix dramas. No, like, like the, really? one of the Chinese like period dramas and stuff. Like, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, like, Juji <laughs> like, in a lot of shit. And, uh, yeah, she's yeah, Juji. She's one of my favorites, and yeah. she's, uh, well, she's long since SNH, like, about two years ago, but, uh, yeah. she was the center in a lot of their Senbatsu songs that came after, and mm -hmm. I love how they still call it Senbatsu, by the way, even though they, they still had Senbatsu, yeah. but she was the center of a bunch of Senbatsu songs after the break, and, um, mm -hmm. and then she, Cause, uh... Well, because the Boku left, and she was, yeah. like, the, the queen, but she was like, I've got school stuff, like, I can't... Yeah. Like... <laughs> but anyway... But did you hear about the really liberal student <laughs> Oh, 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 you're breaking up. You're breaking up. Oh, Jasmine's breaking up. Are you, are you still there, Hina? Oh, which is for me. Okay, there it goes. It came back. I think it was my internet. I was like, okay. Sorry. No, I want to do that with my money one day. I don't think anyone heard you because you're, they're going through my internet and you, like, broke up completely. Oh, no. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> so, apparently like in the earlier days of SNH, like right after like when they first had like their election mm -hmm. like and savoki was still like number one um apparently like this really rich oil tycoon like showed up in his like nice like car and was like i'm gonna like every year jujingi like she will be number one blah 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 and like he was like <laughs> i will like single-handedly get her to number one and so she got number two that year and everyone was like what happened he was like i didn't know like how this was gonna go like how many votes i really needed and so but every year after that she got number one That's... so everyone was like well i guess he <laughs> <laughs> he doubled down i didn't know that <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing an article, but like he used a picture of him, like all this motor stuff, and like, like it was just, I just thought it was the most interesting thing ever. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. 
Do you know anything about yeah. SNH48, uh, Hina, or did we just lose you for five minutes? <laughs> uh, I don't know too much. I know, like, they're not, they're no longer with, like, AKS. Yeah. Because so, like, uh, they, they started doing their own thing without their permission. I yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it was so blatant. It's like, by the way, we got, like, three more sister groups. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, um, what? It was so funny because everyone was, like, kept asking, like, AKS and AKB. They're like, oh, like, when are you going to announce the new Chinese? Like groups and they're, they're like, what are you talking about? I know. Yeah. People are like taking pictures of like the theaters being built. They're like, this is yeah. what I mean. And they're like, S and H, what? And, <laughs> and they did like, them oh, all. Yeah, by the way. They weren't subtle. They did them all at once. Maybe they were just hoping yeah. that like they couldn't stop them because it was like it was like Guangzhou and Beijing like right away. Yeah. It was like, oops, <laughs> keep up. But yeah. yeah. Anyway. I mean, I like S and H, but I just it's like I'm sad too. I mean, Team S H is really nice. Some people say they look more AKB than AKB does now. No, I, mean, oh. I can't remember the name of the song. We seen that one video where it's like it's Battle Royale, but like you know, it's, it's from like two years ago. Oh, it, was, it was like yeah, a yeah, Boku Tati. There you go. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I love that video. Um, anyway, <laughs> but yeah, Johnny's is Johnny's is doing Johnny's outside of the U.S., which is crazy. Uh, they've always been doing Johnny's outside of the U.S. Like they go to Hawaii every fucking year. Um, in in some capacity, but of course nobody in Japan considers Hawaii the U.S. for reasons I'll not. I'll it's never true. understand. Um, it's like I understand having lived in Hawaii and then having lived on the mainland. Like people in Hawaii don't consider. Wait, you you've lived in Hawaii? Yeah, this is the first <laughs> time I think you've ever said that. At least I remember. What the hell? <laughs> yes. When I was in middle school, I lived in Hawaii, and like mm. when I lived there, it it does feel almost like a weird version of Tokyo, but it's not. But, like, people on the island don't even, like, claim the U.S. They're, like, they think it's really funny because everyone's, like, the mainland, like, scary. Like, <laughs> like, 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 it's just this, like, where there's no sticky rice and, like, brown rice exists. Like. <laughs> there's no sticky rice and brown rice exists. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, have, I have visited Hawaii before, and it actually does feel like you're in Japan as well, yeah. Oh, that's like crazy. it's, I, I felt like there's like sixty percent like Japanese like everywhere, even like on like buses and stuff. Oh my god! I and signs. Know. There's a lot of Japanese people there. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't been to Japan yet at that time. That's why. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So I was like, this feels like a piece of Japan. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty good. I will say that. Like it is, it is pretty. I don't know. Good living there. Good living. <laughs> it costs about as much as Japan. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. Same idea. <laughs> That's way closer. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, uh, speaking of some of the crazy scandal, oh, wait, Kabushi factors in with the scandals, right? All the girls that kept leaving. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, There's like five of them left, and the, then now they're disbanding. They're disbanding in March, which is crazy. And what's her March name? March thirtieth. What's her name's mm-hmm. leaving? Uh, yeah. Murata- Murata's leaving. Uh, yeah, Anjanamu, she's graduating. Which is funny. A uh, quick little plug: we interviewed Anjanamu last year and we just put it up on the, our site over over the holidays so you can go check that out you know you can go like unfortunately there's no video version of that because Hello Project's weird but I have a video version of it and maybe I'll put it to Patreon you can be like look it's her before she's gone no, I'm joking mm-hmm. mean. but um mm-hmm. but um <laughs> but no it's kind of sad uh, that, that she's leaving I remember we, we interviewed um Juice Juice right before uh what the fuck's her name um the, the the really young one the, the I can't remember her name but we interviewed Juice Juice right before one of their members left too and I'm like I'm not saying that we have anything to do with it how just, many members have been lost Nanami now? Nanami it, is the one who left okay it was right before Nanami left and I remember it was just like I'm like oh my god she was so ridiculous to the interview like um this is also a topic I'll go real fast she was she was so like obnoxious like not in a bad way like in a kind of fun way but like yeah. She was like punking all the members and like pushing them, and like she, she slapped one of the members' butts and everything like that. Like, and oh we're, we're there doing the interview, and like there, there's there's it's just us, the interview people, management, like yeah. her, their management, and like the yeah. the, the, pers- the person from uh, Hello Project, and we're yeah. all just like, do we tell them just to chill for a minute because we're setting up? Or do- and it's not, I, have it on, I have it on camera because like I'm still setting up, and I'm just Ooh. like. Uh, <laughs> is this the way they act when people are around? Like, I'm almost like a parent. I'm like, there are adults, you know. <laughs> like, calm yourself. Control yourself. <laughs> yeah, but uh, 
But yeah, and then and, oh, and then she flipped she flipped one of their skirts, and I was like, guys, come oh on, my God. yeah, I'm like we're doing an interview. <laughs> like m- mind you, we hadn't started yet, but it was still like I probably should have told that story. Now I think about it, but whatever. Now it's out there. Um, but yeah, um, we hadn't started yet officially, but still, we we were setting up the cameras and all the sound equipment, and they're just like having a having a time. And I'm like, okay. I mean, all the Hello Project girls seem to like have a lot of fun together. Yeah, always being silly. But then it was so sad because Nanami was the one that was the most like active doing all that, and mm-hmm. uh, then she like left a few months after that, and I was like, oh, that sucks. Um, I wasn't there for the Anshin movie one, but I'm pretty sure people are just similarly upset that she's leaving. And I mean, I I know of her, and I'm upset she's leaving in general. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Naruto, like, like she she announced that she's graduating in March. So and like Funaki was also originally planning to graduate in March. So, like, so they had to actually her, yeah. reschedule her, like, graduation for Murotan. And... Although they, they said it's like, uh, going to reschedule for the end of their tour, but the end of the tour is March 15th, which is before Murotan's end. Uh, it's really confusing. I'm not sure what they're planning. And it also comes at, at a really weird time because everybody's, like, praising Morning Musume. You know, and their yeah. sales and their recent single, which I actually yeah. liked. It was the first single that I actually listened to. Like, and I was like, "Oh, I actually can listen to this normally." And I don't know. I, I I've kind of really fallen out of Hello Project lately. Um, yeah. But I liked that new Morning Musume, Musume single, and I was like, "Oh, this is a really good one." And then, unfortunately, uh, I mean, it was sells well. That's not the unfortunate part. Mm-hmm. But it's unfortunate yeah. that all this is like happening in the background of Hello Project, and I'm just like, "What's going on mm-hmm. with them?" And um, if I'm not mistaken, Sinku like kind of went public. That like, I mean, like it was obvious that he was doing it anyway, but he was kind of mm-hmm. like, "Oh, I'm done with Hello Project like forever," you know. Um, peace out, guys. And he's and for those who, it, we talked about this in the panel, people didn't seem to know this. Like, even though he has his health issues, you know, and he's supposedly retired, he's still very active, like writing and producing, mm-hmm. just not in Hello Project anymore. Um, yeah. So it just you know yeah, I, I, there has to be something there. But whatever. Last year we got the the Takumi Nakajima album, the the self cover of all the idol songs that he wrote for people. And I, I just love that album. Yeah. Like speaking of Anjumu, he wrote uh, Taiki Banse, and that was like one of my favorite songs. Um, that's one of my I favorite. Love that song. I, think I think that's like that's definitely in my top five favorite idol songs ever. I'm not sure exactly where mm-hmm. it goes. I have to think about that. But that's like a top five idol song to me. But yeah, he wrote that, and he he was the one who wrote it, and he recorded. I mean, he actually released his own version a while back, but that's on his new album that he did also off topic but anyways what are some other predictions we have besides all the changing idol worlds and whatnot i feel like we, we mainly talked about the changes that are happening now and not predictions but mm-hmm. there you go that was a <laughs> can you believe i thought we wouldn't have time for this segment not that we wouldn't have time but i thought, <laughs> I thought that it would be too short of a segment and we've been on it for over an hour <laughs> but what are some predictions jasmine i'll um, put you on the spot <laughs> oh snaps predictions well, you, um, okay, you got one. Okay, good. I was actually going to just start moving around and like, put everyone on the spot until like we go finally go to someone who has one. I actually have some, but I'd rather put everyone else on the spot. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to see, like, I think we're going to like keep seeing the continued trend of, like, more, like, Western-catered, like, just material, like, releases, Spotify. Like, I think we're going to see a little Oh, my more God, wait. I just noticed, I don't know when it happened, but the, 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 the Twitch, the, the, the stream ended. Oh, Boop. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm restarting it. Um, but it like legit ended. I'm like, why is the chat so empty? There was a lot of people in there a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, it was. Uh, I think it just happened because I, I noticed the chat wasn't moving for a few minutes. So, anyways, continue. Yeah. So I think we're gonna see like a continued trend for that. Like we've seen like just a little bit here and there. Like Wasita did that collab with like the Spanish group and stuff. Yeah. And oh yeah. We've seen, um, and well, of course, like a lot of the Korean groups are doing like that their thing. But I think in J Idol, I think they're starting to kind of catch on to that. So, I mean, I'm hopeful. I don't know if it'll happen like as soon as this year that the Olympics, like post Olympics, will be a big time for like exposure for a lot of groups. Because I know, like, Occupy is on the committee, so there's going to be idol something. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah. so, whether it be AKB or whatever, 48 group type stuff. I hope they do Kei Kizaka, because I think that would be a super good impression on, like, idol. But um, I think we're going to see, like, a jump, especially post-Olympics, because that's going to be a big time for just a lot of people are going to be in Japan. I think 
I mean, a lot of people know Japan, like anime and any song type stuff. So I'm hoping that, you know, they're able to take advantage of, you know, like all of the international stuff going on. So I don't know. I think that's just one of my biggest predictions that we're going to see that keep going. I also predict that AKB is either going to come back with their Sosingyo and call it something else or they can redo all of their festivals. Because, like, a lot of people are like, oh, Janken's getting old, Sosenko's getting old, whatever. So they're either going to, like, revamp Sosenko in some way or revamp Janken and they're going to, like, change it up a bit before they bring it back. Um, and they're going to call it, they might call it something else. Like, I don't know if they're going to be, like, the like or they're going to start again at, like, number one, like, the first re new Sosenko, whatever. So it seems, like, very, like, new generation-esque. And, yeah, so I'm thinking that that's probably going to happen. Like, they're in, they'll are they probably announce it. I highly doubt they're going to hold one this year again. Yeah. But I do think that they'll probably at least, like, announce at least for this year. Um, How long do you think it'll be before we get Wasta at, uh, at Coachella? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I mean, I mean, like Mika's already going to Coachella. Like that's wild. We were like, let's go to Coachella. We we're like, and now Mika's Coachella. there. <laughs> Mika's there. I love the memes where it's all like, you know, the rich, the rich white kids when when the Miku set uh, Coachella when Miku starts playing, and it's that girl who's just like, oh, you can't see my face. But the girl's all like with the jaw <laughs> open, and she's like. <laughs> just looking around, everyone's dancing. It's <laughs> 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 like real. This mind starts, and yeah, she's just all like, "What the hell's going on?" But yeah, More, the Coachella thing is interesting. I know Perfume got invited to, to Coachella. Yeah, and so then last year it was last year. Ex Japan's been there. Uh, other yeah. other Japanese groups have been there. But like I said, Miku is a bit more is a bit different because it's like, oh yeah, shit, it's very like. <laughs> Like that's hardcore. Yeah. So I'm, <laughs> I'm not like, lie. Let, let's get some idols up in there, up in there, up in there. Wasta at Coachella would be <laughs> no, no. weird. Energy would be like Kei Kizaka at Coachella. Yeah. <laughs> no. <weird> energy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll be a that'll be a topic for a future. Well, when is Coachella? We'll wait for Coachella to come out. That'll be a topic for Coachella week. Like, who will we see next? We we'll get like a tier list, and we'll like we'll, we'll see who will really fit in. Um, but anyway, uh, what is some of your predictions, Hina? Uh, honestly, I don't really know. Like, oh. there's, there's so many things that like are like unexpected. Honestly, <laughs> morning music uh, breaks know. up. Oh my god, that would be the. Oh my god. I don't know how I would feel about that. That's like gonna be the most shocking thing. That would be so. I mean, I like. I know my, one of my favorite groups is uh, going on hiatus after this year, so okay. that's at uh, uh, Triple A. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, that actually, I actually had a segment about that because I thought they were breaking up, but then they were just going on hiatus. I'm like, oh, yeah. I, yeah when, when I first heard the story, some... yeah, they had some. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, hopefully it's an actual hiatus and it's not just like a long drawn out breakup. Oh, like what, well, like Barry's Kobo? Yes, <laughs> it's like on hiatus for like ever, and, and then and, like, like never, right. never getting back together. Yeah. You know, we're supposed to pregnant. Dying, they're, they're like, we're gonna go on hiatus for like ten years, and we're like, um, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't know. Like some of my predictions, I'm not. I always wonder. Uh, whenever I think about AKB48, I always wonder about their uh, not their staying power, but like their uh, their continued relevance, so to speak. Mm. I want to um, know if like someone's gonna take over. Like AKB took over from Hello. Like it's Morning such Day, are you really it's ready? such a big then... thing though. No, like one of the problems I've always had with AKB48 is like sure they took over from from Morning Musume. That's whatever. But when uh, I used to always talk about it, like even Morning Musume. Even Ayumi Hamasaki, um, there were certain of the greats, quote unquote, like the big names that were never that you everyone thought was were never going to be taken down, and they're um, yeah. Mr. Children and Bees, like the especially yeah. people might know Bees. No one in no one outside of Japan knows Mr. Children. Like I swear to God, no one knows who they are. They're a band, by the way. But uh, Mr. Children. They have like the the most records, like you know, the most number one records, the most number one whatever the heck chart topic nonsense. Mm. And yeah. when yeah. sure when they overtook AKB48, I mean AKB48, sure when they overtook uh, Morning Musume, it was like oh damn. And sure when they took over like Ayumi and Masaki, it was like oh damn. But when they started 
creeping on Mr. Children, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're all going to you need to calm down a little. <laughs> it's like, uh, do we yeah. do we really need the cultural I'm significant, curious. you know, music artists of Japan to forever be AKB48? Which I guess is fair. Maybe I just like the boomer in me, like, no, don't beat Mr. Children. I mean, I think it'll really come down to like. It'd be interesting because, like, we're just talking about the rest of the Roaring Twenties. Like, if another group, like, openly, because, like, I know the last, because, like, of course, Nogizaki is their own rival group. Like, that's a self-created rival. Like, that doesn't really count. But like, Avex Idol Street de- technically declared war on the forty-eight groups, like a, oh, year, a few years ago, but and they're... then and then like disbanded everyone on Idol. Yeah, Street. I don't see yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like re- really. <laughs> They're like, we're declare war on the 48 groups, and I'm like, that doesn't sound like a great idea. Like, I just... <laughs> but, like, I want to know if a company is gonna, like, even if it's, like, some guy in, like, a one-room office is gonna be, like, I declare war <laughs> on the 48... Like, you know, I want to see someone at least try to challenge them. <laughs> Like, the gimmicks aren't really hard to, to match, and, like, I feel like they could... I don't know. Like I an idol in be... World War One kind of yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> War and idol period resumes. <laughs> no, but, um, I don't know. I, I, when the whole like alt idol thing kind of really kicked off, and like when ba- baby metal like really took off, I yeah. assumed something big would would have changed everything up too, but it didn't. And so that was unfortunate because <laughs> baby metal. They just like fell into different like groups that people liked. Like, yeah. This was not like it didn't replace anything. It just like made a new exactly. Like, <laughs> Uh, and then they kind of just cross connect it there anyway, so I don't know. But um, but yeah, that'd be a good one. Uh, ten years is a long time. But then again, if you'd have, if you'd have asked me in two thousand nine, when oh, sorry two thousand ten, um, when they went to a- AX uh, AKB forty eight, and uh, I saw them live there. If you'd have asked me then if I thought they'd be around, like still on top of things ten years later, I'd be like, no, you know, like <laughs> they're gonna have their fall at twenty fifteen, you know, and then. They'll still be around, but they wouldn't be like you know as big. But no, I was wrong, and I don't now know if they're like overseas and like I want to know if they're they're in this next ten years. Are they going to attempt to make a Western version? Yeah, I was thinking that actually. I was like, oh, predictions actually like AKB like uh they're trying to get like all over Asia, but like what if they run out? I was like ideas, and then like hopefully they could come to America. Or like yeah, because it's like, will they North go to America. Korea first, or they go to America first? I feel like they <laughs> might not touch Korea. Exactly. That's what uh, I think. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, like, it's just an interesting. Like, they would dodge Korea. Time yeah. <laughs> well, the biggest the, the biggest problem with Korea is that they they're such like I don't want to say closed off, but they already have like such a big booming their own local pop industry. Yeah. That you know, yeah. Eyes One is probably the, the closest they'll ever get to that. But um, I think so. Too. But then you, get, you got groups like you know, even though they're super, 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 super indie, um, you mm-hmm. have groups like Station Youth Academy, like you know, yeah. who, who yeah. sorta are doing that in Canada. So I actually auditioned for that. Group. Oh, you did? <laughs> I did, but and I actually passed like the first uh, audition, and I did the second one, but then like I, I had to go to Japan afterwards. Oh. For, like, a whole, I was there for a whole month, so I just missed out. Oh, on the RP. Thing. Yeah. It's okay, and then I moved here shortly, like across the country, so oh. it didn't work out anyway. Yeah, yeah. but I, I do think I mean, like speaking of Session Youth Academy, they've made a lot of gains I wasn't expecting. Yeah, like because like they are like a small indie, like just indie groups. Period. Like I have friends who are like arguably SoundCloud rappers, but like, like <laughs> I've seen people have like try in industries that like already exist, and like considering that there's. There's like the closest thing most people know is like Love Live or Annie Song type stuff. Mm-hmm. So seeing like they had they did because I went to a performance at, a- at AX they did really well. I think a lot of people got excited about like the gimmick of Idol. So I think that if they bring more groups like that, you know, and then now they're on like Spotify and they're doing that and like mm-hmm. they've got like a decent amount of people in the fan club now. Like they're growing. Like they're gonna have a mu- like seeing them grow. It's like because like. It's like working. I for heard they, they might have like a sister group too. Like yeah, so possibly, I like I'll, I'll like, audition for that one. I know. Somebody get a <laughs> like get them in contact with Venal Awesome and like you know A forty eight. No, just kidding. But, yeah, I'm hoping like AKB does something like that because like Morning Musume has done something similar, right? Like Country Musume was it? 
That was like in the states. Uh, I coconut think. moose. Or like they got some Co- people. Coconut. coconut moose- it was a coconut. Coconut, coconut was uh. Yeah. Country was is the, okay. yeah. Coconut yeah. Musume was the one that had like. Since Yep. That's all I remember. Um. And then, I mean, also, I say that with AKB2 is because on some of their audition things, it has an option for, like, overseas addresses. Yeah. Oh, yeah? And so, like, I've been noticing that on, like, more of, like, the group's forms recently. So I wondered if, like, they're, like, just t- hinting at the idea. They're like, let's just see, like, if yeah. anyone from... Because, like, technically, Hirata Arena lived here. I mean, she was, like, half Japanese, so she, like, was able to move and had Japanese citizenship, technically. But I wonder, like... Like that was they did that pretty early on. Like that was like twenty thirteen that they did that. So I wonder if like are we gonna like even if they just did like an international talent search, like if they just did something like that, like they went to Hawaii, because like, you know, that's part of the <laughs> Yeah, it probably is. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like it's either gonna be like Hawaii or if like we're lucky like LA, but like probably Hawaii and they'll be like, Hey, guys can audition and like I'm just curious. To Everyone's see. gonna be so sad because like most of us are like too old to audition now. Yeah, I know. Because like I've been waiting since I was like 14, and when I turned 18, I'm like, oh, oh my god, like I, I'm like considered old for an idol now. Exactly. So, but maybe with the changing idol, we can. I know. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> press all the- they make like an SDN, but it's like all four. <laughs> <laughs> all the people that, like, that, that, that weren't able to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for like my Gaijin 48. Like, come on, <laughs> guys, be great, get it. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Well, um, it's a, or just go the SNH route. Like, like Hina, just make your <laughs> make your own thing. No, just just keep just keep doing your your VN 48 and just make that just 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 fly in the face of Venal. Oh my god! <laughs> just like try to sue me. Try to sue me. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, they probably will see you. China, I'm chi- chi- China's I'm too, too different. Broken. Yeah. I have nothing. <laughs> They'll like see you under every new label, like AKB, SK, like yeah. every. <laughs> like I, I can't like be like SNH where I can like open up like yeah. theaters right away. They're exactly. building them. Just, like... start, just start building them and like come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> In your backyard, you got like staff. Yeah. Forty eight well, theater. So like a wood plank. Be like, yep, yeah, this is the start. I'm, start- <laughs> I'm starting. Oh, uh, AKS, man. come for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Though. Come at me, AKA. Okay, yeah, see what you see. What I got, but um, but no. I guess that's that's a good uh, that's a good place to leave the topic. I guess of the night. Um, any other predictions before you start wrapping this up? No. no? Did I even see mine? I don't remember. Did I-, I think you like no, sort of chimed in, but like- yeah. Yeah. Um, Anything else? Okay. No, I, I did mention the one about AKB48 potentially. Like, you know, it's not so much so I think they're going to lose power, but I, I kind of wonder, um, like, it literally is how much higher can they go? They've literally done everything in yeah. a really short time. So mm-hmm. they might fall off a little. Um, but then again, the, the 48, you know, fa- like family monstrosity will always continue forever. Um, it's way too big. Like, like literally, people would have to be bankrupted, which I don't see how that would ever happen. You know, yeah. uh, in this I mean, day and age, I feel like people would still do it. Like in the red, like they would still like. I feel it take them so much to admit bankruptcy. Fun fact: Hello Project is kind of like vertically integrated. Like, on, it, once again, this goes way too far into like record label BS that I just know for reasons. But um, they're like vertically vertically integrated in that they release their stuff on labels they own up front so uh in theory if they ever had a huge financial loss it could just all collapse and morning but they, they would probably sell morning musume but um but in theory morning musume could break up like out of nowhere one day if like a string of like bad money decisions happen or if like somebody runs off with their money or something Cause i remember i think there was like a because they, they have problems defending their copyright overseas like everyone like Every so often, people will post a Hollow Project video and it gets claimed by, like, something, something music in Spain. <laughs> and, like, mm-hmm. a- apparently they don't have any lawyers to fight that. So, in my, my opinion, one day, they, they, if, if Hollow Project goes down, it'll be because, like, they're not too diversified. Wasn't there a huge thing, of, like, on, like, SoundCloud? Or is it Spotify? Like, this guy uh, from yeah. Germany was, yeah, like, he copywriting was... all of, like, the Hollow yep. Project stuff, or at least Morning Miss Me. I don't remember, like, okay. exactly what happened, but... Yeah, and I heard about that. I don't want to name names, but it was at the time that we had a friend in um, 
the YouTube thing still happens, by the way. But it was at the time when, yeah. when we, we had a friend within, like, up front. And he was telling us how, like, you don't you don't get it, Manuel. It's like, we have, like, you know, we don't even have lawyers in-house. We, ha- we outsource our lawyers. And, like, it's too much money to fight it. So we're going to just leave it because we're not doing it ourselves. Like, oh basically, the only way to have really fought it was to devote resources to doing it themselves and then fighting it. And they would have won. But... They they just couldn't they couldn't see the benefit of like going on Spotify whatever the fuck it was and like you know doing it to, or whatever it was SoundCloud or Spotify and doing it themselves so they didn't and they just let this guy like you know as far as I know he he ne- nothing ever happened because I you know either he got bored of it or it's still happening to this day um, mm. so yeah um, apparently. Uh, I'm gonna make that joke. I was gonna say, apparently, just go start your own Hollow Project group, and the, they can't fight you because they have no legal recourse. But I don't want to say that because we still work with Hollow Project. Ideas, guys. Yeah, don't, don't do it. Let's do this. <laughs> but no, they're, they're, it's unfortunate. They're, they're a really big company that operates way smaller than they actually are. I don't know why that is. Uh, That's what, very interesting. I just think it once again has to do with the fact that they're so like, you know, it's one big like pillar. But um, yeah. Anyway, besides yeah. that, I already said Johnny's. Um, I'll be surprised if Johnny's doesn't come to AX. I'll be surprised if Johnny's doesn't come to a lot of things in the next couple of years. Um, I, I don't think they were ever hurting for money in Japan because they were always domestic only. But I, I just think they just want more of it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think now that they feel like they're it's out there, and then like, like I said, I think that like. I don't want to say like K-pop has showed them that like it's worth it. Yeah. But I guess at the same time it kind of has where they're like, because a lot of times you know like the artists will come over here and they'll be like, okay, like it's whatever, like you're at a con, like it's whatever. Like I don't think we're gonna see. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I think they're just. Te- I think they're just gonna continue to dip their toes in like slowly, and we'll see what goes from there. If they get any great successes, honestly. The other big thing is, I think, um, beyond like all this stuff about coming westward, is I really hope that there's a a decent push now that with you know K-pop is kind of shown the way. But then again, I always feel K-pop like kind of gets away with it because their their music is typically more western sounding. Um, yeah, yeah. But I, uh, I I still hope that they get a bit more uh, J-pop exposure over here. Um, yeah, because I can't. I, I'm getting e- even though sadly we, we kind of do cover some K-pop stuff here and there. I, I I'm still not a, fa- a true fan of it, but um, I I still get annoyed and it happened to ALA. It happens at every con. When people are like, oh, you know, ADJ connections, you know, Japanese stuff. Oh, you like K-pop? You cover K-pop? And I'm like, <laughs> okay, only <laughs> by chance do we cut. Yeah, <laughs> and it's kind of annoying because now we've kind of given in a little. But I'm like, so I almost feel like I can't really argue that as much anymore. But I'm like, no, it's like J-pop idols. We're not talking about. Uh, it's a topic for a whole other day. But it's funny because yeah, yeah. I'll just say this again. Like we, we, I say this every time I bring it up. You will always, if you run a, if you go to an idol event in the U.S. I don't know if this is like this in Canada, by the way, uh, Hina. But if you go to an idol event in the U.S., like say you go to like ALA, you go to the idol showcase. It's all the local yeah. idol girls. There will yeah, be yeah. K-pop performers in there. Yeah, um, love live, live and then like K-pop. no, and, but you'll, you'll <laughs> it's never love live. It's always love love and then K-pop. It's, it's, it's so just it's so weird. annoying. Or love live girls doing K-pop dances. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, that and then there's that, which is even like this is like, the most cringy. No. Yeah. I, I, like, I, I can't stand why. It. But but if I if there's like, it even K-pop, happens here. So. It really does. Oh, it's so annoying. But the part that, that the part that truly annoys me is I can kind of, I don't want to say I'd accept that, but I'd be whatever. But mm-hmm. if you go to the K-pop showcase, or the fuck you would call it, they won't be doing idol stuff or Japanese idol stuff. They won't be doing any of that. Exactly. It'll be all K-pop all the time. But the idol yeah. the idol showcase will always have K-pop mixed in somehow. Like it, yeah. I'll be I'll be real. It even happens eternally. Like when um when Angie and Tiffany did their performance last year at ALA. I was I was like I started groaning. I'm like they're doing a K-pop song. God damn it! <laughs> they, they did too. They did too. Like Japanese version of the K-pop song. No. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, the Japanese version. Now, like, oh. oh my god. Like, uh, 
Or they'll I mean, do twice, because like, they're like, twice is like, might as well be. Like, they have Japanese Oh, well, twice. Yeah. Well, to be fair, that's actually that's actually the excuse that we use when we we, we uh, had twice on the website. Because we reviewed a couple twice things, and we, like, covered some other twice things. And it's all like, oh, they have Japanese members. Like, we'll just sneak this in there. And we even, like, put it with the idol stuff. Like, nobody will notice. <laughs> like, twice is really, like, one of the only K-pop groups I, I follow, including, and an Ice one as well, sort of. But, like, not really that much. I just, I just love Naka Chan a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, I don't know. So that's my prediction. Hopefully, honestly, my prediction is it's not going to happen. But I hope it does. Prove me, prove me wrong, J-pop. <laughs> um, I do think that J- I mean, that J-pop, I do think that K-pop will back off a little. I don't yeah. mean that. That came out wrong. I do think that K-pop will once <laughs> again, uh, will like, not be the. I think they're gonna plateau. The, yeah. They would like, bang at twenty one, and then it's gonna go down, and then the like people will like the next generation will come back up, because like, well, I'm not gonna mention certain group names for you know, but like, especially you know with the whole like with boy groups, a lot of the members are gonna have to go to the military and like oh, that yeah. kind of yeah. stuff. Like that's gonna create like even though the group is still strong without them, like it's still gonna it's still gonna feel different. I think a lot of stuff is just gonna. And then, like, especially with K-pop, the people get tired. Like, their their like jobs and schedules aren't very nice. So, like, I mean, some people will just get tired. They'll get sick. Like, things will happen. Like, I do say that like, J-pop groups are I feel a lot more sustainable, just in the sense that like they seem to last longer. Like, okay, idol groups are like up and down, especially like, indie stuff. But like. I mean, like, we've had idols who've been in the game for, like, over 10 years, and it's, like, it just, I don't want to say, like, it seems like nothing, but, like, it's definitely, I don't know, it's just, like, a different industry. So, um, and considering, like, there's not much for soloist. Oh, yeah. Like, or idol groups. So, like, it does, like, I do feel like, at least with, obviously, within this next 10 years, like, the big, big groups we talk about today, like... It could be kind of helps because like there's members changing all the time and stuff. And same with like Hello Project, like things like switch out. But like for these groups, like where it's like one name, this yep. five, like, these are the four, these are the three. Like I just don't like they're not. I don't see it's like they're gonna peak really hard, and I think it's not gonna be good at least for the people too, especially you know with companies and it's gonna. And then people are gonna want to replace it, and then like will that work? Will it not? There might be another scandal like. We had the Mnet whole thing with Eyes Zone and or Eyes Eyes One. <laughs> and, yeah. Like I don't know, a lot of the dirt of K-pop is coming back up, like in like the Big Bang Twenty One era, and I feel like that's probably gonna become a thing, and then the West is gonna jump on that, and then we know how that goes. Well, let's so, not like, forget that like a member of um, fucking FT Island was like instigated was was implicated and all that not I think he's in jail right now for all that yeah, nonsense. Like, yeah, like that and then like even like well the but, whole and then, like, uh, you know, ex Big Bang members getting like arrested and going to court and like like I don't know, just like a lot of stuff is happening, I think, within that industry too, that's like, you know, whatever that I don't want to say we'll give room for J Pop to move in, but <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know, a lot of people like I have like parents who know about it who are even kind of like, like yeah. my parents are younger and they're like when is this gonna like they see it as like a phase too they're like yeah. it's like one direction to them they're like okay when's like <sighs> the yes. girl's gonna jump on the next thing <laughs> well so hopefully that happens we'll see on that note I think that we're we're good with this topic here um Maybe. I don't know. I think we had a good prediction prediction run there. We'll see how I cut this up in the, in the, the channel later on. I mean, I because I, I want to like cut these segments into a, a tighter thing and we'll just post it up on its own separate video. But we'll see. Um, let's get some upcoming stuff out of the way real fast before we fully wrap up here. Um, we're gonna be at a couple cons and we're gonna upload a bunch of videos to our YouTube channel, like from ALA and other nonsense. Also, I'm going to the Japanese food expo with some people from A to J, so look for some stuff from that. Mm. Um, we, we have some other interviews on the way. We interviewed Aldius the, a couple days ago. Aldius? Aldius? I don't know how to pronounce that name. They're a Japanese metal group, uh, all, all female one. And uh, oh. other good stuff. Uh, what's coming up with you, Hina? Where can people go to follow you? Hmm? Where can people go to follow uh, you? What do you? Wait, wait, sorry, what do you mean? Oh, what can, <laughs> where do people go to, to learn more about Hina, Hinachi? 
Oh, like on my Instagram and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, <laughs> my handle is uh, like uh, Hinachi underscore idol on uh, Twitter and on Instagram. I don't really go on Twitter often, honestly. Oh. It's just like a lot of like idols have exactly. Twitter. Yeah. That's the best part. Like, you can but, tweet like, at them some of them are quiet. starting to get uh, Instagram. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, don't you love how I just talk to you really fast and I throw a question at you immediately? I was just like, I was like, what? <laughs> what? It's like it's late here. I'm trying to. I'm half asleep. <laughs> but, uh, but no. Um, so there's that. Anything? And then for cons, yeah, I don't. Oh, I yeah. don't I'm, there's not much happening right now. Uh, yeah, it's 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 it, the main one is like AN Anime North. Oh yeah, doesn't that happen in June, May? Uh, um, May, May, yeah, and like Wasta like, came last year. Oh, because yeah, I think yeah. that's the same weekend as when, when we have a uh, fan anime in, in California, and that's oh, when, yeah, yeah, we're doing the uh, AJ's doing that one. We're actually submitting panels of the nonsense, so we're not we're still scheduling that. Every freaking girl in A to J, and A to J is mostly girls, as you, you, may, yeah. you may have known. Uh, every freaking girl in A to J in California is a member of the Fan and Made Maid Cafe because it's really popular. And oh. it makes it really hard to schedule panels because, like, if we do idle stuff, like, we, we can't do idle stuff because, like, they're all busy. So yeah. we have to get creative. We're probably do some metal panels and VK panels and other, you know, the stuff we never do anywhere else because, uh, other cons the girls are free but uh there's that there's ax and a bunch of little content between for us by the way anything new with you jasmine um pretty much going to be going to uh, what is it the local cons here um asen oh yeah ASIN. and ax um i'll be competing at ax again this year oh nice so. You should, yeah. uh, you should go to AX too, Hina, one of these days. Are we even AX? Yeah, I, I've been to AX, actually. My first year, I was actually pressed. Actually, no, I was pressed for both years. Ah, oh, nice. nice. I, was, I was pressed for at least one year. I was able to uh, interview Aqua. Oh, cool. That, that was yeah. recent then. Um, nice. Um, yeah. We, we, uh, whenever we do press, we all... I, I'm always late and I do everything stupid. We interview a lot of people yeah. there, but we, 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 we never got Aqua rip. But um, to be honest, I'm not sure if I really want an Aqua. There's, there's usually always guests I want that we never get. Like, didn't we get like fucking go? Uh, not going to guy. Um, fuck, names escape me. But we got some people that I really want to interview that we never got. Uh. <laughs> anyway, that we never got to interview. I'm like, why can't we interview that person? They're the ones who I really, really want. But whatever. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, Patreon. Uh, I forgot to mention the top of the thing. We do have a Patreon. 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 Dot com. Such a connections. Um, we are revamping it soon. Uh, if you if you're interested in the Checky tier, we actually got one of those Checky printers, and I meant to have it next to me. And we printed a lot of Checkies for that tier, or at least I did. Like a, not just me. I mean, of all the other people that we, we never get to see, so there will be exclusive Checkies there again because that tier was so hard. People have to mail them to me, and that was just a mess. Um, but this way is a lot easier. So keep an eye out for that. Um, the LDS interview will be up there first. And shout out to Eddie Kenneth, our current like uh, big name Patreon patrons. And uh, before we wrap this up, next week I wanna we're gonna do we're gonna do an episode that I, I we might do an episode that I don't want to announce yet, but it should still be on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Um, hopefully we announce it by Friday. That's usually when we do all of our announcements. So check on Twitter for that. But if you're interested, 7 p.m. Tuesday the 28th. And uh, with that. I don't know who will be on it exactly entirely because even if we don't do the special one, Konara, I think it's still in Japan. So rip. Uh, maybe I'll be begging Jasmine again. We'll see. But, uh, but I mean, we'll see. That's if I don't do the special one because the special one will we'll have different hosts. But uh, thank you, Jasmine, for showing up. And you actually, once again, I got to you last minute because I was like, I need someone. Because I was going to have Molly and then Molly like kind of canceled on me and I didn't want to ask Kelly again for like the eight times. I was like, when I check the chat once a month, I'm like, ah, yeah, so. Yes. <laughs> no, it's funny because usually we we ping you and it's like I think we've only had you scheduled once and your other like seven times we're like can you do this can you do this like the last minute <laughs> I think the only one I was like recently scheduled for was like the Maid Cafe one. Oh I yeah I, like, I think I may have actually been supposed to do that one because I was like oh yeah like I want to do the Maid Cafe that was a fun one and we did that with Kelly I remember yeah. Kelly, Kelly had just done the yeah. Maid Cafe at AX but um Anyhow, keep an eye out for new episodes that we'll be releasing soon. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, Hina. Um, no problem. Thank you for having me. Oh, I apologize to everyone who was watching us on YouTube because uh, 
I mean, not to everyone on YouTube. My apologies to everyone who watches on Twitch because we had really bad connection issues. I don't know what was the issue. Maybe my internet doesn't like Wednesdays. Um, because I, <laughs> I fixed all of our issues that we used to have in the past, and all, the last episodes of the past year were awesome. But oops, I don't know what happened. Anyway, um, thank you all for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. I always say this every time. If we made you laugh, you owe us a like. <laughs> that deserves a like. And and if that upsets you, dislike. So there you go. Interact with the video. <laughs> <laughs> we need engagement. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the issue. It's like we need engagement. If we made you laugh, that deserves a like. And if that pissed you off me ass, me e-begging there, it's dislike. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and everything else. Hit the notification bell, whatever. Smash that motherfucking like button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm enough with the internet memes. Bye. <laughs> Good night. Don't leave me. You never do one more thing. Right. But okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I can hit the- okay, there it goes. Um...